Hooey. All righty. Let me know if anyone's here and if you can hear my honest and true voice. Hello, Spicy, Penguin, question mark, Kyer, Sellison, Hey Specs, ND, not underscore Ethan. And what's going on, fellas? Hello, Oak Tree, Rick James, Dry Crub, Splitting. No, not Splitting. Armpit. I got Splitting and Armpit confused. Uh, Bantam, Gaust, 108, Midnight Note, Joy. Jigglypuff, Leighton, Drowning Skies, Gumjar, Restram, Little Poppy, Charizard, Empty Perspective. Thank you for the 66 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hello, Yasami, Bruce Ironstaunch, Reapy Soul, Dr. Sabugo, Glitchy Bug, Metal Breach. Some charcoal, smoked cheese toe. No, no. Is it bad that I take that as a compliment? Yeah, I mean, splitting's really cool. Hello, Monochrome. 99 construction and pivoting towards wrapping up God Wars dungeon. Grats, dude. How how many years have you been playing this shit now? Hello, kid. Pro quo. Often and thrown. My dad is not a fall in the 99. I like to paint 33. Crep time. Die, grim, die. My pen is in butthole. Hmm. See, I, you probably meant my penis in butthole, but it really seems like you're talking about sticking Sharpies where the sun don't shine. Hello, Vantress Wanderer, Dragon Ball Z 432. Been about three years in this account. Nice. It's not that long. Hello, Genso Kaizo. Maybe I'll have to get back into RuneScape one of these days. Maybe if I can convince Autumn to play with me. I think that's about the only thing that would that would convince me. Maybe we could do uh, <laughs> Group Iron Man together. Hello, Most Creative Name the Third. Noodle Slayer underscore Pompey Panda. Thank you for the two month resub. Any femboys in chat? I don't think we have any femboys here. Sorry. Hello, Splitting for the second time. Kohakuru. Hop on Cox so I can get my prayer scrolls. I'm not. Dude, you can't just tell me to hop on Cox. It doesn't work that way. Hello, Hairline Final Frontier. Slavin. I'm not hopping on any Cox. Absolutely fucking not. Put a maid outfit on today? Why? Why you cosplaying? You going to Anime Expo? Hello, Half Talon. Is it is it maid season? It's starting to cool down a little bit, so now everyone's got to wear the maid outfit. Hello, Kujumbo. Scully Sully. Good morning. Morning at 8 p.m. That's what I'm talking about. I slept for like 10 hours last night, dude. I was dead to the world. <laughs> I was... I was a fucking corpse. Hello, Incromancer, Igrizar, Go Spy Go. Sakura Khan, actually. I hope they have Garuga Mesh. Hello, Rosden. We should all go to an anime convention together. That's what's up. Yeah, I've been sleeping really good lately. Fucking, like, it's too good. Like, I'm sleeping way too fucking long. I was like, man, I'm gonna go to bed early last night, which meant 5 a.m. And I woke up at 3 p.m. Oops. <laughs> Uh-oh. How about not me, Sokoko? Is, uh, actually, I have a theory, and Apollyon just proved it. Uh, thank you, Apollyon, for the 87-month resub. I appreciate it. I would say, like, 90% of the time, purple names always object to fun ideas. Always. Misa Coco is the prime example, but Apollyon also being a purple name and also not wanting to go to an anime convention is really is really solidifying this theory for me. You can't trust these purple named fucks. Too early to talk about October plans? Uh, um, no. No, I resent that. That's okay. You can be the exception. Hello, Microtonal Matt. You don't think going to an anime convention with all of your favorite Tolomites is a fun idea? You don't you're telling me, Apollyon, that you want you don't want to go to an anime convention with JFC or Cifaroni or Cool 109 Love. Like think of all the wacky sex capades you would have to prevent. It would be like being a chaperone. I would cosplay so hard at an anime convention. Anime conventions smell really bad though. Well, we can bring some, some Lysol or some Febreze or something. Uh, thank you, Lucas, for the 36-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yo, Tolo, I broke my leg hiking. Goddamn, what part of your leg did you break? How did that happen? Don't want to go to nearly any convention? No, I feel that. 
I feel that. I really have... I don't know. I think I'm getting more full-spectrum warrior as I increase in age because... I had, like, a fucking idiot panic attack when we were going to San Antonio in July because we stopped at a Bucky's. And it was so fucking crowded. Like, it was... Like, people were, were like, shoulder to shoulder and the lines were ridiculous. And I just said, hey... I don't want to be here anymore. Let's leave and stop somewhere else because I was so fucking overwhelmed by by the chaos of the situation. So I think I'm just getting dumber and dumber as I as I increase in age. Hello, moon watching. Anime conventions eat an industrial amount of Febreze. I would unironically rather be dead than at an anime con. Come on. Hello, Ildaka. Landsides fucked up a trail to a waterfall. Jesus, dude. Uh, what part of your leg did you break? The only convention I've been to was completely wasted and in drag for four days straight. Crowds suck. Yeah, I don't really like a bunch of people around me being loud and annoying. Hello, Milky Bone. I didn't used to be that way, though, so I'm not sure what happened. It must just be getting older and dumber. Because I didn't mind it so much. I actually thought it was fun to be in like loud, chaotic environments. And now, maybe not so much. Weebs forever catching strays because some weebs are PDFs. Wait. Wait, hold on. Wh what? Who brought this up? I don't think... That, that wasn't part of the conversation from my point of view. I'm just talking about going to an anime convention. I've gotten a lot worse at crowds who just hate being stared at from every angle. Have you ever met someone who was like would get really genuinely upset and mad if someone in public had the audacity to look at them for more than one second and start calling them like like ugly motherfuckers like what is this ugly son of a bitch doing it's weird <laughs> I don't know dude it's I don't particularly like being looked at either but Jesus Christ you have to be looking at someone to notice that's true I wore earplugs when I went to an anime con. I don't like loud places. Then why do you like to stream? This is a loud place, right? It happens in gyms nowadays for some reason. We we'll never get mad at someone, but it, yeah, for sure. Like if someone's just looking at you, like I get. Okay, let me let me take a step back. If someone's like actually looking at you for an extended period of time, it's understandable to get irritated. But like vocalizing it and starting to insult someone and getting really genuinely pissed off, I think, is a little bit of a different story. Sorry, Sif decided to break out, so I had to shut the door. So if I sounded like I was far away, it's because I was. Everyone here is nice? Everyone? You, you really think so? Hmm. Everyone here is nice. Let's think about that for a second. I, I'm not nice. I definitely don't think I'm nice. So right out of the gate, that's not true. I don't think Misa's nice, uh, <laughs> especially if you're a viewer in her stream. I'm not nice. I am evil. How are you doing, Jumpus? Just try to stare back and see who gets uncomfortable and looks away first. Gim gims. I don't know what a gims is. Gyms scare me. I, I dude. I have I have fucking gift disease. Now I'm trying to say gims. <laughs> what the fuck? What is wrong with me? Uh, if I was there, it would be like I'm an obstacle in everyone's self-improvement journey. Maybe they just laugh at you. They'd laugh at me, too. Everyone here is rice, fear, and hunger. Spotlight. W what do you mean? Crep and I are the nicest people? I don't know about that. You guys are nice to me, but you guys are like... Alright, I I'm trying to find a diplomatic way to say this. I really don't mean any, any offense. But you're like... You're like overly protective chihuahuas sometimes. Like if someone comes into the Discord and says something wrong, you two will be like, bum, 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 like trying to bite their ankles. But but you guys, you guys are nice to me. I thank you, anonymous, for gifting six months of subscription to JFC six one six. Speaking of six one six, I don't know if I hallucinated. Raphael making a nun massacre style game or not because I looked for it today and I was I was gonna play that today and I couldn't find it on either his itch or his steam so I don't maybe I legitimately just had a dream that that happened 
Uh, Cause I feel like I talked about it with you guys, but I don't, I could not find the game that I thought I saw. Thank you Afro Panda for the 13 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe, maybe I have dementia. I, I might have Alzheimer's everybody. Got a family history of it, but it usually is more on the, the ladies side. It's how I feel all the time. I could have sworn I saw something like that. I even remember what the the enemy looked like. It had like a white pale mask. But now I feel I don't know how much weird internet bullshit content you get into, but it reminds me of the horror farming game that people talked about where someone swore that they remembered like a Stardew Valley style farmer game where you were a farmer who killed like your wife and kids or something and you were trying to evade the police. And, like, I don't think the game ever existed, but it became a meme, and I think someone's making one now, because it became such a, such a manhunt for this evil Stardew Valley game. What's going on, Torpo? I hope you had a good time. Sounds like a good game? I mean, why not just mod Stardew with the ability to kill your wife? I feel, or, or, you know... Truby game you could kill the kids too, but I guess you can already kind of do that You can use a statue to turn them into birds. Thank you Wayne Bishop for the 37 month resub. I appreciate it I I'm not sure if I thanked you Katzel, but I I appreciate the continued support. I hope you're well You can yeah, you can there's like some statue in a witch's pond Where I forget what you have to give it But you can turn your kids into birds and get rid of them if only it were that simple, right? <laughs> Chad, Jesus Christ, thanks. I told you guys you didn't have to give me shit, but damn, I guess I could finally post my favorite emo. It's a good one. Hello, s'more eater. Wish the townsfolk wouldn't get upset with me when I ransacked their trash cans in front of them in the video game. Well, I would be pretty pissed if I went outside and someone was rummaging through. It depends. If it was against the garage, close to my house, I would be pissed. If the trash cans were out on the curb, I wouldn't really care if people were going through them. Hello, Haka Dioro. It's more about the proximity of them to my abode and interacting with things on the property than the actual act of taking the trash. Modify Stardew Valley to where you have to tend a twink graveyard. There's apparently a really elaborate Stardew Valley mod to turn all the characters into furries. Maybe we could do that. Maybe that could be community night. We can get that mod that adds like 50 slots to Stardew Valley and we can all be furries on a on a farm together. <laughs> maybe maybe some of us could be cows, some of us could be chickens, and the farmer would have to tend to us and milk us. Doesn't that sound fun? Hello, Willie. You're a video game character streamer, they don't have the right to get mad at me, a real person? I mean... I guess so. Our own Ponytown? Yeah. Hello, Pip Panther. Chubby Super Smash Brothers. Friendship, Lickies included? Sure, why not? The art is actually decent, and that is Pompey Panda plays Stardew with that mod. Can you already play a furry multiplayer Stardew Valley? Yeah, that was, um... Sunhaven. Which was surprisingly good. I hate that I liked that game. Hello, Nurgle. I'm ready to be milked. Okay, Poe the Cow. Have you given Sif her daily pets? Sunhaven is better than Stardew? Not sure if I'd go that far. It's different. It's really good, and it is better in some ways. But I think once you factor in the mods that Stardew Valley has, it it, it is pretty hard to beat. Especially the one that adds like a million fish that you can put in an aquarium. Do you plan on finishing the CBT Piter game? Probably not. Any furry community game will feature Bimbo Twinkle Cut. They have overtaken the animal part of my brain. The animal part of your brain, huh? Are you? Is this your way? Is this your admission to us that you you have a little bit of furry in you? How's it going? It's going. It's just it's it's Saturday. Uh, played some fucking Monster Hunter. Getting ready to play uh, a Silent Hill knockoff. Well, that's that's not fair. I shouldn't call it that because that's dismissive. It looks good. It looked neat. It came out yesterday, I think. And it's Bimbo Twinklecock. The Spider Game had the most epic illusory wall. Pirate. Did you get back into Frontier? Yeah. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Tolo has like 10% furry viewers considering the dinosaur VN. It's higher than 10% for sure. There's, there's no way it's only 10%, dude. Like, 25, I would say 15. 15 seems right. Thank you, not Valeria, for the 22-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. I, I don't know. There's a decent number of furries here. Hello, Jazal. There's definitely a large number in that, that. Yeah, exactly. That's just the ones who admit to it. It's not really illusory, but it was like a hidden wall. It it was a pile of bricks, pirate idealist. You're either queer or a furry or a housewife. Yeah, ninety percent. You think so? Can we bring back the gay furry NSFW Discord channel? No. Who the fuck are the housewives? Um. Housewife? I mean, I've been called a housewife by my chat before, so... <laughs> Apparently, I fit the bill. So, I'm a, I'm a housewife. I wish I was a male wife. Ugh. I still think Scrote Drone is the best version of that label. You were a dude and you work a job, but that doesn't mean I can't be a housewife. You know, who are you to decide that for me, Misa Coco? Glad the Frog Channel still in the server. Hello, Cleftian. Do you identify as a housewife? No. Does feel like a house... Okay, please, God. Hello, Loy V2. Grave Seasons? <sighs> no, it was supposed to be an old game. It was supposed to be an old game that someone remembers from the past. I wonder if this was inspired by this. Sorry, I didn't explain it very well, Yasami. It's probably my fault. Wait. Murder Mystery Farming Sim I've been talking about. House Trophy Wife. Okay, Contrera Butt. Being a housewife is a genuinely admirable thing. Most guys don't have what it takes to be a housewife. Okay. Tolomeo. Every time I make my fermented hot sauce, I get spicy pepper juice on my fucking genitals. Jalapeno, bird chilies, poblanos, serranos, garlic, ginger, cilantro. It's on my cock. I even rubbed it all around thinking soap and water could fix it. No, now even my tan is on fire. I did this last time too. I'm an amazing housewife. I cooked every meal for my wife when I was living with her the last two months. I am in pain. If I do this again, I'm just going to cover my balls in hot pepper juice deliberately. You can use it to your advantage. If you need an extra jolt of energy, take a little bit of ghost pepper and put it on your frenulum. You'll you'll be feeling like uh, you won't be tired anymore. <laughs> That's for sure, dude. I'm just curious. Did you get disappointed when I didn't have some anime bimbo profile pic? No. I don't think so. What profile pic do you have? Uh oh oh, it's a squirrel with the duck bill. How to initiate flight or fight response? I don't have a... You do have a frenulum. The, the circumcision doesn't get rid of your frenulum, does it? Like, do you guys not have that? I'm circumcised and I have it. What the fuck kind of mutilation job did you get? Wouldn't that be funny if I was actually not circumcised, but there was just something else wrong with my penis? Move the last three inches of my cock. The frenulum under my tongue? Yeah, you have two of them. The one under the tongue and the one under your tip. They took my whole penis? Oh, okay, hold on. Does circumcision remove the frenulum? Circumcision by most conventional methodologies involves division of the frenulum and excision of the entire foreskin covering the glands. The seemingly simple procedure is occasionally associated with dreadful and devastating complications. Surgeon can remove the frenulum of the penis. Frenulum is often removed. Okay, so mine wasn't. My, I still have a frenulum. Wow, so I have a rare cock then. Cool. So I'm circumcised with a frenulum. I'm like the fence sitter of circumcision. Hell yeah, dude. Like, now I just need to put, like, glitter on it, and it could be like a Charizard. Not one of us. Circumcision should be illegal. Now, well, I agree. SSR penis. You had to keep so many of your nerve endings. Dear God, why do people keep fucking with genitals in this day and age? Some preacher made a kid a eunuch and recorded his voice. That used to be super common. 
that used to be very very common where you would just uh, castrate boys so they could have certain singing voices i believe they were called castrados if i'm not entirely stupid you can't be a circumcision spokesman now castrati let me see castrato what about castrati is that a thing too A castrato is a male singer who underwent castration before puberty in order to retain singing voice equivalent to that of a soprano, mezzo-soprano, or contralto. The voice can also occur in one who, due to an endocrinological, blah, 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 never reaches sexual maturity. Wow. Probably just beef brain. Another stream, another foreskin discussion. You know it. I sure hope one day my foreskin grows back. Some parts of East Africa, they only do a partial circumc circumcision, leaving what is... Sometimes known as a necktie? What the fuck are you talking about? I want to Google that, but my better... The, <laughs> my better judgment is telling me not to. Hello, Adistar. How are you, dude? Sex ad in the Tolomeo channel. Real? Whoa, does this, this sex ad cover castrados and... Uh, circumcision? I guess maybe circumcision. I don't know, technically. They have at least one surviving record of a castrato on a wax cylinder. It's genitals. The Kapuld charge a spirit bomb wizard money gang style. What the fuck are you talking about? The puberty block is going to bring a new generation of very talented singers? I, I don't think that counts if you use puberty blocks. I think you have to actually fucking... I mean, I did say that it can happen due to endocrinological conditions, but I don't know. Maybe. Wasn't Michael Jackson rumored to be a castrato? I don't know. I don't recall that. Do you think Cool 109 is Ciferoni's son? No, I don't think so. I've heard his voice. He doesn't sound like a Kurt to me. If you could even find it on Google, a partial circumcision like that was something I heard about. No, I, I believe you. I'm just not sure I want to know the specifics. A bit tired, but I went to lunch and met the cat I'll take care for a week at the end of the month. And yes, I did eat a fuckload. Hell yeah. Channeling that inner American, right? Spent too much time in my chat and now the diabetes is creeping in. I think we're all secretly castrati. Do people and family sound similar? They can... I, I, I don't know. I think it, they sound similar, at least in regards to dialect and the way they speak, but maybe not so much the actual voices. But it also probably varies a lot. How's going in here? Well, I had a Whataburger honey butter chicken strip sandwich for dinner today, which was pretty fucking good. I had to eat it really carefully because it was so oozing with sauce that I didn't want to get it all over myself. Kurt is the dorkiest name. See, I kind of agree, but then you have to remember 50 Cent Bulletproof. His name is Curtis. He's not a dork. You can say a lot of things about him, but he's not a dork. But thank you, Ski Ui, for the 31-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Imagine days when you eat before stream led to less suffering during stream. It depends. It depends. Keith is the dorky. No, Keith is awesome. Keith is a great name. Like that one guy from Yu-Gi-Oh! With the fucking American bandana. His name was Keith, right? Uh, thank you for the raid, Russ Money. What's up, dude? How are you? How is your stream? Hello, McGregor. Uh, perplexing Platy. Ty81. How did you feel about the, uh, the epic documentary that recently came out? I'm sure you've been getting tons of fucking questions about that, huh? Bet you're thrilled. Bandit Keith. Keith is the name of someone circumcised. It was good. How are you doing? I'm chilling. I'm here. I'm queer. It's Saturday. It's not 109 degrees today, so what else could I ask for? Hello, Sushi Fish. Damn PMK. Why are there no video game characters named Chance? Chance is a straight-up fucking curse name. Cyrax's name is Chance. I haven't gotten any questions, but I know people are following me for the drama, and they'll soon unfollow. I remember. If it makes you feel better, I, I think that's a normal occurrence. I I remember when all of that shit first happened, and I made a post on Twitter basically saying, fuck this guy. I got a ton 
of followers who I, I'm sure once they once they realize what I'm actually like and the things I say and the things I post, they're like, okay, maybe <laughs> maybe this guy can go can go fuck himself. So I think that's that's just whatever. Don't take it as like a personal indictment or anything. Uh, you know you're a cool dude. Hello, Crumbly. But I'm surprised. I the only stuff i've really seen here about people talking about it is people say that the guy who makes it like they have a very very strong disdain for june the king i haven't seen his videos but i've seen more than a couple of people say they really don't like him for some reason which is a strange level of vitriol because normally the opinions about other streamers or youtubers are not that charged so i wonder i wonder what's going on with that the fuck did I miss? Really nothing. Uh, three years after the fact, someone made a documentary about the thing that happened with Cry in 2020, and it's basically just bringing it up and beating the dead horse. Algorithm slot just dropped. I didn't even watch it, so. Algorithm slop? I don't know. You keep saying that, JFC. I guess I'm a victim of algorithm slop too because I've started you know what I've been watching it's something even worse than these fucking documentaries about YouTubers I've been watching Matt Pat's Five Nights at Freddy's Lorathons so I can't really I can't really criticize anyone else's choice of content why I don't know I really don't know I find it weirdly fascinating for some reason it's like it's like 90 Day Fiance. I also find that shit extremely compelling. How can you stand the way this guy talks? I I don't mind it. I mean, he's just... Matt Pat's voice makes me violent. I don't know, dude. Thank you, Misa, for gifting a sub to Russ Money. I appreciate it. 90 Day Fiance is just a good show. I enjoy it as cake. Are, are you sure you're not just researching for next month? No, I've literally talked about how I like these videos for a long time. You've made me cringe so hard. Dude, okay, Matt. Do you want me to just pretend I hate everybody? You like I don't know. I, I like some YouTubers. I'm not I'm not always pretend. I just I don't know, dude. There's something about his enthusiasm for this stupid ass Five Nights at Freddy shit that's infectious to me. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. You, you know what? No, I'm not going to apologize. Matt Pat is based. Matt Pat is is awesome. I wish that I could summon that level of fervor for video game theories. He watches him because he drinks Diet Coke too. Didn't Matt Pat make a video about which character will survive coronavirus? I don't know. I don't know what we're talking about, but Foxy is cute. Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance is shaped like a... Dude, Big, Big Ed is beautiful. Big Ed might be the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my life. The picture of him naked in the hot tub where he just looks like a fucking orb. He looks like uh What the fuck were those things called? Autumn really likes him. They're like the little balls that... Like Bakugans or whatever the fuck. I think they're like little balls that turn into monsters. Uh, thank you, Flame Resistant, for the 31-month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Is Big Ed to be pondered? Yeah. Did you watch his theory about how Oppenheimer's... I, so, I don't care about any of his other stuff. I specifically only like the Five Nights at Freddy's videos. <laughs> I don't watch any of his other shit. It's just something about the combination of Matt, Matthew Pathew and Five Nights at Freddy's that, that is appealing to me. Big Ed is my favorite biblically accurate American. Watch his... No, I don't care about Undertale. I think... Okay. All right. Are you ready for the nuclear fucking take? Get ready for this one. Non-ironically, I think the lore of Five Nights at Freddy's is far more compelling than the lore of Undertale. <laughs> I think Undertale is almost assuredly, de definitively, a better game. And the music is great. But specifically, the lore... I think that, like, the idea of some Chuck E. Cheese animatronics killing little kids by default is more interesting than whatever is happening in Undertale. I'm not going to apologize for it. Matt Pat made great stuff, but his theories involved math and physics, but then it just became nonsensical based on theories about random shit. 
lost his FNAF lore is crazy. That's right, that's right. A, a mer the purple asshole killed kids, stuffed them into the animatronics, and, like, the little, the little fucking, like, Freddy has, like, the dead body of a child or some shit inside of him. I enjoy Matt Pat's FNAF videos, but actually really disliked his first Petscott video. Well, there's only one person whose Petscott videos you should care about, and that's Nightmare Masterclass. I guess that's kind of mean to say. It's not It's not so much that the other ones are bad. It's just that his is so in-depth and good that it's really hard. Like, everything kind of feels a little surface level after watching that. See, in all but his final one, I gotta watch it. FNAF guy is unironically more talented at game design than devs like Carmack, Miyazaki. Oh, <laughs> don't be fucked. You think so? You think... I mean... What's with Golden Freddy? He's an asshole. He crashes your game and breaks the fourth wall. You're not deep in the FNAF lore until you learn that there there are there are books. Yeah, I've watched Matt Pat's videos. Apparently there was like a, there was a dabbing Chica. He made a big deal uh, about the fact that some like f Five Nights at Freddy's kid coloring book had lore in it and also a dabbing Chica. He was really upset about that. Matt Pat has made wonderful games that far surpass Map hat? Dabbing? Yeah, dabbing Chica. Freddy Dab is better than Kojima. Prove me wrong. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. I'm sp I don't even, like, care about the video games. I'm saying specifically, I don't know. I'm, I'm a creepypasta whore. I love, like, the shitty creepypastas about, like, Slendies, Tendies, uh, Marble Hornets, all of that stupid, like, fucking saccharine nonsense. I love it. And so the Five Nights at Freddy's spoopy animatronic thing is, is appealing to me. What is the best chain pizza place? We did this yesterday, Dan. Are you trying to get me to make people mad again? It's Pizza Hut. It's Pizza Hut. Now, I... I, I don't know, dude. I've tried really hard to like Domino's and Papa John's. I really have. I really have given it a shot. So many fucking times. Round table? Well, I don't have that. But Pizza Hut just fucking owns them so hard. It's insane. Cranberry ginger ale in Texas? Probably. I'm not drinking that shit, though. I hate ginger ale. Do you have Hungry Howie's? No, but I've had it in Florida, and it was all right. Papa John's is less greasy, man. I will always eat Papa. The last time we had Papa John's, the center of the pizza was cooked, but the crust was, like, raw. It was really gross, and I ate it anyways. I don't like wasting food. Ginger ale is so inoffensive as a drink. How can you hate it? Sometimes the most offensive thing you can be is inoffensive. And I think ginger ale is emblematic of that idea. Thank you, Rick James, for gifting a sub to Third World Weeb. I appreciate it. Thank you. I think Pizza Hut being super oily is a fair criticism. It is. It is. It's not so much that Pizza Hut is amazing or God's gift to man. I just think it's better than Domino's and Papa John's. Gaddy's? Why do you why do you always have to remind me of Gaddy's? I miss it. I miss going there with the arcade right after going to Splash Town with the big old projector playing Ed, Ed, and Eddie and Courage the Cowardly Dog. It, it was a better time. It was a better time, for sure. Hello, Nephi. Anyone for Marcos? Okay, so I actually don't like Marcos for the dumbest reason you've ever heard. If you think my, my critiques of anything else are, are shallow and insipid, get ready. I don't like Marcos because I know Boogie2988 loves it. And I don't want to be like Boogie2988. So I will never eat there solely because of that fact. <laughs> that is that is the only thing that has prevented me from trying because we do have one here but like it reminds me of boogie and it's not exactly something that's immensely appetizing to me you know can we get your take on cc's pizza buffet i don't like cc's but a big part of that is because my parents all like okay imagine this imagine you're growing up as a child and a teenager and every day, you have one of four things. You get one meal a day, and it's either Golden Corral, CC's, breakfast for dinner, or spaghetti. 
and you just eat that for like 10 years on a rotation. It's amazing I didn't die of like malnutrition <laughs> by the age of 18, dude. Golden Corral being the worst. CC's is all right, but I it's spaghetti and breakfast for dinner. They're also fine. But I just had it so much that it's just it's now it, it's a case of having something so much that it's really hard to actively crave it ever again. You know? I don't know if you guys have that sort of thing, but there's definitely something to be said about having too much of a good thing. But Autumn and my sister have been talking about getting CCs again, so I'm willing to give it another shot. Majin Sweet is the greatest person alive? No, Majin's, Majin's a piece of shit. Majin's a piece of shit. That's why I like him so much, because I am too. Majin is like... I like Majin more than most streamers, because I think Majin is someone who, who isn't a great person. I think Majin is a very normal and flawed human being, and that's appealing to me. He doesn't pretend to be a great person. He doesn't pretend to be some sort of moral arbiter... He's just Majin. He's just a fucking freak on the internet and doesn't pretend to be anything more. And that's what I like about him. Golden Corral builds the immune system. Like Hellblinda. Hellblinda, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with Hellblinda, dude. Hellblinda is just hilarious. Like, that guy's awesome. I, I, I really enjoy Blinda when, and the rare occasions I get to see him. It means you're also a normal, flawed human. Well... I tell people all the time, like, I'm just a lazy, stupid piece of shit. Like, the only thing outstanding about me is how average I am. I'm just a fucking schmuck. You shouldn't take... Like, I don't know, dude. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> I'm just some motherfucker who turns OBS on, and I'm the talking cat. Like, literally, this is the formula for the stream. Start stream, and then someone post the cat emoji right now. Post the cat. Do it. You know which one I'm talking about. Please. Thank you, it's me, your dog. Yeah, that cat is just me for like three hours until everyone falls asleep and then I go and play Monster Hunter. That's that's my lot in life. I'm the cat. In fact, a, a, a cherished moderator of mine put the fear of God in me today because he said that he was watching a stream and we're going to talk about racism. <laughs> I know, this is a strange segue. But apparently, and I'm not saying his name because I don't know if he wants me to like to make it public knowledge who this is. I'm not trying to... Whatever. If he wants to say who, who he is, he can. I think he's here. Um, watching, like, grand strategy games. Like, a streamer did grand strategy games. And apparently, he found out that, like, the 14... Uh, the the 14 words or 14 phrases, whatever the fuck, that we must protect the white race shit was banned uh, by Twitch auto filter. So he tried to unban it and started complaining about censorship. <laughs> and he started talking about how you just can't say anything on Twitch anymore. And he, the mod was like, dude, I don't like it when my background noise has too much texture. And I'm like, okay, okay. Remember, to Lomeo, you need to be smooth, no texture. You can't say anything, you can't, I mean, not like I would say anything like that to begin with, but you gotta really just, you know, keep it chill, keep it smooth. Another soy? And then we had a discussion about how, I don't know, so I, I said that, but I'm about to say something inflammatory. Have you noticed how many racists play like Hearts of Iron and like Crusader Kings and shit like that? It's like those people who claim to be history buffs, but they only care about World War II, and they're almost always racists. <laughs> like, it, it's weird. It's so fucking strange, dude. Thought he was going to say League of Legends. Well, there are plenty of racists in that game, too. Twitch streams are second mod. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I know it's... It's known Chud Core, just like how New Vegas has a reputation. New Vegas is weird because New Vegas has a reputation for being a game that's very beloved by transgender people. But it's also beloved by people who love the like KSAR's Legion and think non-ironically KSAR's right and we should have slaves and shit. It's there's there's a bunch of weird factions of people who like New Vegas. It's strange. Hello, DJ. Map game players in a nutshell. Confused on why anyone would be upset about Twitch banning such words? 
I don't know. I don't know. Whenever some history buff talks about really wanting to preserve American or European history, I'd be like, yeah. Everyone, yeah, no, I love New Vegas too, and I know you do because you're literally named after Driver and Effie. It's a good game. I never played Vanilla Crusader Kings 2, and I feel like I made the best choice. America has history. Yeah, but a lot of the history doesn't have anything to do with us YouTubes. I know more people who love Metroid and Turn Trans than New Vegas. Most of our history sucks. Yeah, it's not exactly a history to be proud of in a lot of ways. I'm on mobile right now. Am I able to download it? Oh, an extension. I didn't know what you were talking about. America exists. No, okay, so sometimes to avoid engagement from white people, people on like Twitter will call white people YTs. It's like uh, a euphemism for white person. And I think that's funny because when I see it, I think they're talking about YouTubes. So now in my head, they've programmed me to think white people are YouTubes. <laughs> so that's how my fucked up brain works. You know, a crazy son of a bitch. Uh, thank you, Humble Five, for the four month resub spent all day packing up the apartment and doing maintenance on mine and the wife's cars. Thank you for being on so my brain can relax. Sounds like a productive day. Good job. I, I, I wish I was productive more often. Because it's, all, it's always such a good feeling when you get so much done in one day. That's why my strategy is to let a bunch of shit build up and try to do it all in one day. Instead of being a smart human being who takes care of problems as they appear, you let it build up and then just have problem day. I guess space atrocity doesn't appeal to them as much as human atrocity. Name one of my palicos and rise after you. I don't know if that's humiliating or not. You have lazy prep day beforehand too. Social media was a fucking mistake and it's hilarious. I don't know if I agree. Hello, Ray Nabo. It's frustrating because... I don't know if I want to talk... Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think that the, the internet should have been a great tool of unification where you get to talk to people from all, all walks of life and realize that there's not that much different about us and we can understand and grow and become unified but uh, it's the governments and corporations use it as a tool to drive wedges between us and further the divides instead and it's i think social media in theory could be a really good thing i don't think it is the way things have gone but I, 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 I'm reluctant to say that social media is an inherently bad concept. It's just the way it's run now is, in my opinion, objectively a bad way to have it. Hello, fakey. Unified under one banner hating France. Memories of the old internet before corporations knew what the hell they were doing. It's, uh, it's kind of sad. It's not like the old internet was a place of extreme tolerance either, though. There were still pieces of shit and racists and all of that so i don't know how much of it is actually the corporation and government's fault i think they amplify the bad elements of it for sure but you know you know it's just it's so cool like imagine back in the day the ability to talk to someone like i could go find someone from africa right now to talk to or japan or china maybe not north korea or Russia and that's that's I think we take how interesting that is for granted that was inconceivable a hundred years ago now you could have like snail mail or whatever the fuck but I don't know man as bad as 4chan was the shit now is way more insidious how do we feel about communism I don't uh, honestly I don't know enough about communism to have a real nuanced opinion on it um yeah, I just don't, don't know what the fuck I'm talking about with communism. I don't think that Joe Biden is a communist, so I know that much about it. But, you know, I don't really know that. I haven't read any any communist literature or whatever the fuck to know if it's actually a good idea that's just been implemented badly or whatever the fuck. It's kind of wild to watch the rate at which things are posted slow down once Russia went to war and couldn't bot as hard. Socialist ideas are great. Genocide, not so much. Communism looking real good after all the corporate shenanigans. Oh. 
I actually have a very, very strange worldview at this point when it comes to that sort of thing. I actually think one of the most harmful things that has ever happened on the internet, at least in the last 10 years, is get ready. I hope you all have fedoras. We're going back into this fucking cesspool conversation. The idea that all atheists are like these know-it-all fedora tipper assholes and like milady bullshit has opened the door for theocratic assholes to get back into the discussion. And it's, I, I think that atheist YouTubers going weird against like SJWs and whatever the fuck they were doing has had noticeable impact on, on the psyche of people. Uh, and it was not a good a good impact. Thunderfoot destroyed America. That's not what I'm saying. I actually I remember I remember Thunderfoot one when the swine flu because I did watch Thunderfoot when the swine flu came out. He said something about how we need to take this super seriously because maybe swine flu isn't what we think it is. But if it is really bad, then we'll be prepared. And if it ends up being nothing, idiots will think that preparation wasn't necessary even though the preparation is what stopped it from becoming bad. Thunderfoot is so weird. He is. He is. Because he's very fucking smart, but he's also really stupid in some ways. Atheists could be embarrassing online, but that's not as bad as what some IRL... Well, that's what I mean, though. Um, the idea... That I'm, I'm not really... I'm not really good at articulating the idea. I just think the demonization of atheism, even if it wasn't a huge part allowed you know religious fuckers to start getting getting more power in america which is the last thing i want personally i'm fine with religious people i'm even fine with churches but specifically the brand of religious person who wants to legislate their religion and force us to follow it is not is not really great you can be book smart and critically dumb the two aren't mutually exclusive you could have blind spots too you can be genuinely really smart and just have a blind spot where you have personal biases that make you a complete fucking idiot. Um, it was crazy when I was in high school. Religious institutions were mostly a laughingstock amongst kids. Then it was suddenly the counterculture. Atheists being weird fuckers online did help with the general anti-intellectualism trend. Internet atheist fear-mongering made IRL Christian fear-mongering so much worse. Well, I think that we all know what we need to do now. We need to vote Big Ed in as the president. That's the only thing that can save us. I think that he can he can right the, the wrongs and unify us in a way that no other president has before. Atheism is old news, but nobody likes the Christian Puritan role players now. Pendulum swaying too hard on the other side. Now nobody cares about the I'm doing it for the children nonsense. It does seem like the pendulum really fucking swaying really hard, huh? think a lot of politicians use religion as an excuse for power. I agree. I'm not saying that I believe that most politicians are religious. I don't. I bet I bet Mitch McConnell is every bit a fucking atheist as I am. <laughs> I, I, I would place money on that. I don't believe for a fucking second that any of these people are religious. They just use it as a tool. Maybe, maybe like some of the really fucking crazy ones... And, and maybe, you know, I'm sure there are some who aren't crazy, who are religious. Like, they're just like, go to church on Sunday, but it's not really their their personality. They, they're just like normal religious people, too. Isn't Joe Biden a Catholic? <laughs> Mitch is a vegetable. Mike Pence absolutely is a true believer. Well, I, yeah. Doesn't he call his wife mother because she's the mother of his children? That's fucking weird. That's such a strange thing. Do you think he says it when they're procreating? Mother, I'm coming. That's normal, TBH? I've, I don't know, dude. I live in Texas, and I've never heard that shit in my life. Mother, I am climaxing. That's fucked up? Yeah, I mean, it's fucked up, but, like, is it fucked up because of me, or is it fucked up because he calls his wife mother? Mommy, sorry, I mean mommy, sorry, I mean mommy, sorry, I mean mommy. Same as calling mom, pa, mother, wife. 
I think some say it for the children. Barnabas ass people from like the 1800s. Yeah, but like, he's not that old. <laughs> we shouldn't be. Can you imagine like the existential meltdown that would result in people from the 1800s being able to interact with a time traveler from 2023? And they started talking about the Riz and the Zaza. And it would, it's virtually a different fucking language at this point. Uh, I wonder what it's going to be like in 100 years from now, 200 years from now. You know how we make fun of, like, ye old English? One day, this is going to be ye old English. Politicians using religion to stay elected is the same reason algorithms running most social media spew out hate engagement, focusing on the end goal leads to using paths of least resistance. Oh, man. Maybe we could all start a cult, but, like, a good cult. We will be speaking English too in 100 years. I think they would burn the time traveler. Yeah, probably. Misa Coco, why do you always have to give me the side eye dog? How do you guys feel about the idea of a benevolent dictator? Do you think that's possible? And English too will like the Monster Hunter. It would sound like the Monster Hunter language. No, no, yes, no, no, no. First rule of a cult is you don't call it a cult. Only a benevolent dictator. Only if it's an AI. Dictator connotes dominance, so no. We can't even trust a guy to not go insane managing a fucking burger franchise. Well, that's not what I mean by benevolent. I mean, like, if they were genuinely benevolent, would it still be... It's an argument where basically, even if they did everything right and did good by people it would still be bad because they're forcibly taking people's choice away anyone who would want to rise to that position would be fucked up and that kind of thing has been shown no no obviously that there couldn't be a benevolent dictator that's not what i'm saying like i know that none of us could could rise up and be fix everything he would do everything right the rest not so much wouldn't they most likely get overthrown I don't know. Maybe. Let the robots run everything. We already had one. He did everything right, and they indicted him. Yeah, you think so? Hello, Snarters. He did everything right. It's the game's fault. Maybe DSP could be our benevolent dictator. We're all saying he, huh? Yeah, it's our latent misogyny. If your country is a mess and a dictator forces order, it can be benevolent towards a better future. Believe in a benevolent emperor. Well, you like Warhammer, so that's not surprising. At least I think you do. My grumpy ass would overthrow dictator Mr. Rogers. Just want Americans to elect Tolo so he bans anime. I wouldn't actually ban anime. I say it because it's funny and it's ha ha he he, but if I act, I don't, I don't think we should ban anime. Maybe like for a week to make the weaves mad, but then but then undo it. There are girl boss dictators too. Name one pirate idealist. Just lost my vote. That's okay. I don't wanna. I, I'm recasting my vote. Good. Good. I I wouldn't even want to be the fucking president. It's like how remember the night Trump got elected and he looked like his dog just died. He didn't look happy about it at all. He's like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, it wasn't the face of someone who was elated to become president. That's for fucking sure. He did not look happy. Maybe you could argue that it was just a very long and stressful day, which I'm sure it was. But shit, dude. The Empress... Do, what, do walkers... Do, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't, I don't know this. This better not be from... Okay. She was a former empress of... Okay. Okay. Former empress of China. A thank you, Pyroman, the 15th for the 75-month resub. I appreciate it. Sorry. I'm, I'm trying to focus on reading the two different things at once, and I've removed my ability to speak. What was she best known for? Dominated the court and policies of China's last imperial dynasty for nearly 50 years. She entered the court as a low-ranking consort or wife of the Shanfeng Emperor and bore his heir, the Tongzi Emperor. Cool. Right, she seems pretty cool. Was she a girl boss, though? I know what else she can dominate. 
Yeah. What do you what do you think she can dominate Nooch five hundred and fourteen? Absorbing knowledge? I'll probably forget this in like five minutes. Sounds like she was a boss who was a girl. Well, you can not every girl boss is a girl boss, right? Hello, Salvatore. Like, there's the literal girl boss, and then there's the figurative girl boss. People use them differently. You're acting like I'm speaking a foreign language right now. But there's girl bossing, and then there's being a girl who happens to be a boss. And they're not the same. Me or maybe Sushi Fish. Wasn't she the one who had a pregnant woman's stomach cut open so she could see how pregnancy worked? That's kind of nasty. And then there's girl tyrants. People were fucking crazy. Like, like prehistoric dentistry. That's girl bossing. You also got a gatekeep and gaslight. So, maybe we should play the video game. What do you guys think? It's been about an hour. Maybe you're tired of hearing, hearing us talk about frenulums and girl bosses. Some psycho people back then. Thank you, Alaskan Bruno, for the 43 months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Dentistry is apparently the second oldest line of work. We need to gaslight more. I'll leave if we do. Where is it? We haven't even gotten to the Gundam section of the pre-stream. It's true, I haven't been doing anything Gundam related. Okay, okay, alright, alright. See, now you got me activated. Alright, you, you really want me to go fucking turbo on, on Gundams? I can do it right now. I have something to talk about about Gundams. I don't think anyone will give a shit about what I have to say about this especially. But uh, they announced a new model kit today that looks really fucking good. Let me, let me go grab pictures of it. The site's not working for me right now, so give me just a moment and I can, I can grab that for you. You're just scared of what? Okay, let's see here. Uh, so, I love Gundams, and I've recently taken a liking to third-party, like, Chinese kits. And they're often criticized for a few reasons. Like, they have too much detail, they have too much spikes, they're too angular. Um, and I'm curious, because I think that this one... Another criticism is they don't make any grunt suits, like basic little little normal guys that aren't uh, Gundams or whatever the fuck. And so one of the one of the third party companies, Motor Nuclear, released one t or released pictures of one that's coming out today that is a grunt suit that does not have spikes. That is, I don't know, I don't really feel like the design is too much. Granted, it's more than a lot of Gundam models, but I think it's in a good way. I think it looks really cool. This thing's apparently going to be like 30 fucking dollars. And I'm curious how they're going to say this one is bad. Uh, <laughs> wonder what's what's going to be wrong with this one. It's it's It looks pretty fucking cool to me. It's like the protagonist of an anime. Apparently... Oh, okay, so hold on. Hold on. It even comes with epic little optional parts to make it look like it's, it's, it's an... Epic heckin' anime Gundam. Hold on, let me show you. I think you're really gonna like this. Look. It has, like, these little fucking... You can replace its face with these little googly eyes, so it looks surprised. Isn't that charming? <laughs> I don't think I will, I will be using those. But, yeah. It looks really cool. I, I, I hope it's as good of a build as the previous ones from this company. Don't even build Gundam, and I want that so fucking bad. Why does it look so soullessly surprised? Apparently, it's these are based off of some Chinese comic manga, and there's a scene that I guess is kind of a well-known one where they're like blushing and having like these expressions, and they they included these to be accurate to the comic. Do you like its color? I actually do. I think its color is really good. It's not primary color, man. I actually am not the hugest fan of like the white red yellow and blue i like uh new and interesting color schemes a lot okay so there's the there's the gundam tirade kind of looks like genji from overwatch a little bit 
So this is Fear the Spotlight, everybody. It's an indie game came out yesterday. I, I, you, I'm sure you can probably guess by, by you know, the way that it is that it's going to be horror. I wonder if it's going to be scary. Can you link that bitch in the Discord? It should be linked in the, um, the Gundam's channel already. We were talking about it earlier. Detailing some of those models, comparing them to the cars I used to build? There's, yeah, yeah. And there's something to be said. Like, one of the appealing things about the older models without a lot of detail is you add the detail yourself, and I can understand that for sure. I wish I was that skilled at making models to do something like that, but sometimes I just want to build something that looks cool, and I don't have to... don't have to fucking scribe everything and add all of the details myself. Thought this was going to be a comedy? Well, one of the things about horror games is oftentimes they are comedy. <laughs> a lot of the time... The, the horror games accidentally become comedy games, so maybe this will be one of them. I, I hope not. It would be nice to play a cool horror game, but you never know. It's been like a good ten minutes scratching your nutsack. No, I'm, I'm more of like a, a pinch and slide every, every 30 minutes or so kind of guy. I don't really get in there ever. very least it's not a gas station convenience store it's been a see anyone let me know how the volume yeah, is it's totally empty let's go holy shit i can already tell chat's gonna love this game i thought this was the fnaf right? stream yeah it's just around the corner what is she doing with her head did you see that left mouse button to interact a side next to the door faculty offices okay I was just in the counselor's office. A bit quiet, okay, let me turn it up. Oh, right. She said your boots were a distraction? <laughs> yeah, well, at least I got to sit in detention all day instead of going to class. Well, if someone can't focus because of a cool pair of boots, that's their own fault. That's true. <laughs> right? <laughs> library? Here we come. Oh, actually, the library's the other way? I want to be really a shark. don't go to the library much. What is she doing? Oh, ha ha. I know you pretty much live at the library, but books are really not my scene. I wasn't expecting this that, to be extensively voice really acted. Out. They sound 35 years old. Are you sure? I don't know if I agree. Is this puppet combo? No. Can I sprunt? Oh, my sprunt's real slow. Nothing inappropriate about potential high schoolers. Yeah, we do appear to be in a high school. Okay. A poster in the display case, Sunnyside High. Our model building trust, aspiring growth, nurturing relationships with each and every student. What if this is like horror class of 09? Where are the gnomes at? Oh shit, I'm a nerd. Look at me. Holy fuck, dude. Christ almighty. If they used these things as fucking windows on that submersible, it probably wouldn't have imploded. Okay. It's locked. Don't worry. I've got this. Grandpa clothes? So, how did you what is the locks? Daria from old school <laughs> MTV? Brother. I don't remember he that. He was obsessed with lock picking videos. He taught me all sorts of things before we moved away. Oh, yeah? I actually feel what like a zoomer right you? now. Apparently, this is something How old that I don't know spray? about. And everyone else How does. To forge my parents' signature. Beavis and Butthead. Then I probably the knew of her at one point, but forgot because I have you watched know, Beavis and important Butthead. Stuff. Ah, here we go. <laughs> I can teach you too if you want. My parents would kill me if I ever forged their signature. <laughs> They'd kill you if they knew where we were right now. Look That's at true. These stances, dude. My English teacher did say Is I this girl bossing? Life experience for my college applications. But I doubt he meant breaking and entering. Viv, get down. Oh no, is somebody there? No. It's just a security camera. Stay down and out of the light. Hell no. Wait here with me until I see go. Okay. Dude, I'm so good at this game, it's insane. Hurry up, bitch! Go, Viv. All right. Stealth master. Okay, come on. Have you ever broken into places for fun? No. No, I haven't. I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't really do anything bad. I'm. I'm. 
I'm a bad motherfucker, but Get that's ready. about it. Run for it. Okay. You gotta come back. It's super fun. You made it. I bet. That was a close one. <laughs> Great job. If I were to break into some place, it probably wouldn't be a school, though. <laughs> I feel like maybe I'm a little too old to be breaking into schools. I'm 31 now. So, if I could break into anywhere. Honestly, dude, I think I'd break into SeaWorld. That sounds fun. Someone died doing that once. One of the, the deaths at SeaWorld was a guy jumped into the orca tank and they killed him. Honestly, pretty good way to go. Hello, Miyuko. He owned it. No, maybe he wanted to die. Maybe he was suicidal and he was just like, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. Go out with a bang. I thought orcas didn't like killing people in captivity if they've killed a few people. The weather people. couldn't be more perfect. I hope the board looks as old and creepy. There are as no I recorded imagine. attacks on, on people. Totally well, I guess they fuck with it. boats now, but captive orcas love murder. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. It is true that the ones in captivity are more violent, but a lot of the attacks were specifically one whale that was before going to SeaWorld was kept in like a literal box where it couldn't turn around and, and was thought to have developed psychosis. So it was literally an insane fucking bull whale that was more or less tortured in its its youth. So it's understandable why why that one specifically would be highly aggressive towards human beings. It's pretty deserved. Okay. Whoa. This must be it. Can you take it out? Yeah, one second. Let's get the Ouija board. Mm. Cabinet needs a key to be unlocked. Select item to use. I don't... Uh... Okay, so let's go find I the key. I need to go grab the key for the display case. I don't know where it is even... The librarian okay. keeps it in the office. I'll be right back. Library office. Sounds Got good. it. I'll go find a spot yeah, orcas to set up actually you hunt sharks. Yeah, uh, great white sharks have been shown that when they detect an orca, they... they they do a thing where they dive deep down and swim really fucking far away to avoid contact with orcas. And that's great white sharks. Those aren't like little baby sharks. Didn't Tilikum? Yes, Tilikum was the whale that was extremely violent. I'm having a hard time focusing on the game right now. Let me go over here. There's a shiny. And it's a picture of me, so maybe... Maybe I'll get some more gore. Photo display, student volunteer of the month, Vivian forgot about this. Hope Amy doesn't see. I won't hear the end of it. Thank you, Tioni, for the 40-month resub. I appreciate it. Here's where they keep our key cards. So I'm like, I'm like the teacher's pet committing crimes. Okay. Was it Orca that people were using to hunt whales? Maybe. I don't know anything about that. God, I love crimes. I wonder how many criminals are in here right now. I bet there's at least one murderer in here. I wonder who it is. Kind of badass to be a good student and do something like this. Yeah, play on both sides. Plans for the school renovations. They finished construction recently. You can tell there was a fire. You can't tell there was a fire here. You pick up the display key. A note written between teachers. Please be careful not leave important documents lying around. I moved them to the bottom filing cabinet drawer to keep them safe. Just give the murderer so much paranoia. What if it was me? Wouldn't that be... Like, I feel like like streaming as an entire medium is boring because there haven't been, like, master criminal fucking streamers who do, like... They go out and kill people, but they have... like Imagine if it was, like, Death Note. Where I was out, I was actually out killing people right now. But I anticipated everyone who would be in chat tonight, and and all of the conversation is scripted. And then I got caught, and it was like a huge story. I wish I was that fucking smart and interesting. Records for overdue books and fines, juicy gossip, but I don't have the time right now. Ninety plus months of supporting a supernatural prophetic serial killer. Yeah, Nostradamus is my name. Don't wear it out. Thank you for the 90 months, Logan. How are you, dude? Didn't that happen already? If it did, that's awesome. 
Well, kind of. It's not really awesome that people are getting murdered, but, you know. It's one of my inhalers. Getting my ass beat. Unlucky. This will be useful if my lungs ever need relief. So I'm gonna have to... This is like amnesia, but with asthma instead of insanity. Huh. Only imagine the damage of predicting Cipharoni would do to your psyche. I feel like Cipharoni would be easy to predict, but she's sporadic. Like, predicting what day she would be there would be hard, unless it was a Sunday. You don't even have a 27 Club Internet celebrity. I have fucked up thought, but think of the legend that would come out of it. The repercussions, the legacy. Boyfriend nearly suffocates me every day with his deodorant. I would need an inhaler because it's definitely coating my lungs. What the hell? I've... What the fuck kind of deodorant is your boyfriend using? What are you talking about, Mio? Weird. Need that extra strength deodorant, stinky boy. Sprays it indoors and it's like I'm being gassed. Miu got with the axe boy. <laughs> Miu actually found, like, the guys covered in axe body spray to be appealing. Huh. There's there's hope, everybody. What fucking deodorant is he using? You take the spirit board. Okay. Let's go ahead and, uh... Got it. Find my friend. Where did Amy go off to? She's probably dead. I smell like onions. There's no hope. Phasmo time. I wish I liked that game, man. My hubby used to use some sort of deodorant marketed for men, and it smelled awful, so we use the same one now. I kind of had the opposite. Mine smells really good, so Autumn steals my deodorant now. A note between students. I hate it when Miss Richards takes away our phones. Seriously, now we have to write notes like we're cavemen. LOL! Did you see that bookworm? The bookworm and the goth girl are hanging out now. Ha ha ha! No way. Kind of makes sense. I heard Vivian doesn't even have a cell phone. Isn't that crazy? No wonder she hangs out with Amy. She doesn't see all the weird satanic stuff she posts. There's a drawing of Amy with devil horns and fire behind her. Ugh. Did they leave this here on purpose? Well, that's kind of mean-spirited. If it was real life, no one would give a shit. Memorial to those who died in the fire in 1991. There's a portrait photo of every student in the accident. So sad, all those people. They left that there because they knew you were going to break and enter? Well, they could mean that she's always the one who cleans up so she'd find it the next day, right? Because I am the library bookworm who's apparently an attendant of this place. Still, we have to try to enjoy board. things, brother. Yes. Stowe, I'm going to make you play I mean, Frontier with me. Mm. I think that's what you need. Welcome, Vivian. Please. I'm going to make seat. you play it and the fucked up begin. way, too. Where you don't use any of the free shit, and you have to use, like, default greatsword style to kill all the fucked up stuff. And you will have a newfound appreciation for every other video game when we're done. You're gonna, We're going to turn you into a lover. And between games, now I just want to join. You don't have to. I didn't. I'm not joining this stupid fucking Discord. I can tell you everything you need to know. Trust me, dude. Trust me. I know enough to get you through. Is that type of permanent memorial good for the other students? Can't go back to Frontier. Wish I had the spine to do so. Are you interested in lies of P at all? Not really. Tonight, I will be your guide into the world of the I already have Papadath lying enough to me. I don't need I any more of those. I, I think so. Just nothing too creepy, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got everything under control. Just do whatever I say. Okay. That's Good. reassuring. To start, go ahead and place the spirit board on the table. Okay. I like the rain noises in the background. I'm excited for it to start raining more here. The sound of rolling thunder early in the morning. Wow. Is so serene. This thing looks even cooler up close. Hello, chimney. Okay, next, we have to set the right ambience. I like the candles. I like these first two candles. Thank you, Rat Muncher, for the tier two resub. 93 fucking months. Good God. Now you like Appreciate it, dude. 
love thunder me too if it wasn't for for the problems that storms cause i would i would love it to be storming all the time wait oh i have to pick it up duh i thought i had a um i thought i had one in my like a lighter in my inventory but i think i'm still remembering the spider game from last night Pirate idealist, come on, dude. Nobody likes. They're, they're high schoolers. They can, Have they can mispronounce words. Done this before? Well, not exactly. It's just a normal high school break-in experience. Oh, a book. No books, just trusty old internet forums. This chick for sure microwaved her phone. Okay. Well, there's one last thing. Okay. What is that? It's a rose I found in my locker last week. What is that? I don't know how it got in there, but it's all burnt and old. I have a feeling it has something to do with the school fire. Wait, Amy, is that true? I know it sounds crazy, but just play along. It's not that. I believe you. But do you think this is safe? <laughs> don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. This feels like she's trying okay. to date me. Let's do this thing. I mean, she's giving me Let's a literal fucking rose. On the so. Viv, you have to keep grabbing the planchette. Oh, sorry. Can I throw this at her? Great. Just like that. Oh, wait. Viv, you have to keep your hands still. You let the spirits do the answering. Okay. Oh, got it. Great. Just like that. Come on, Vivian. Don't let go. Oops, my mistake. I'm fucking this up. Great. Just like that. Okay. Now repeat after me. With hands entwined and hearts aligned, we seek the realm of the undefined. With hands entwined and hearts aligned, we seek the realm of the undefined. I'm so tempted undefined. to let go of this stupid fucking thing. Spirits unknown, let your presence be shown. Spirits unknown, let your presence Please, be Please, no. Shown. Yeah, I, I know. That should be it. Okay. If there are any spirits here tonight, we invite you to talk to us. Also, Mew Cookie, I want sushi. Spirit, are you here with us? Your hands are... You don't know, Rafa. Holy crap. Wait. <laughs> you again. Oh. Right, that was me. <laughs> What's going on, Zillaresco? Oh, come on, Vivian. It's only fun if you play along. Is she gonna like get mad at me and leave, the and then the chat. game never starts? That oh, would be right. really funny. Sorry, I just got a little spooked. Vivian, please stay still. She's getting so got fucking it. mad at me right now. Luigi is my favorite Mario Vivian, character. To yeah. Keep grabbing the planchette. I think my favorite is oh, the Toad. Sorry. There's just something about the Toad. Like, when I was a kid, I resonated with him for reasons that I didn't yet understand. It's because I was destined to be a 5 foot 10 man. And he was the short king who represented me. So I still love him to this day. Okay. Oh, wait. Alright, hey, right, I'm keeping my hands still. You have to keep your hands still. You let the spirits do the answer. There's a Tolokan and some of the oh, band people. Got it. Fuck no. Alright, so I'm holding it. What do you want me to do, lady? You mad at me when I drop it? Are there it? any spirits here who wish to communicate? Sorry about your stature. It's all good. At least my name's not Stephen, right? My name's Kyle, so that means I was born Please. with the racial ability to Show get through a any sign wall. If you're here. Band people in this stream are legitimately deranged working. most of the time. Uh oh. What was that? Spirit, are you here with us? That's my name. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with the name Steven. I'm just being a fuck. Kyle is definitely the worst of the two names. Like, who the fuck would ever want to be named Kyle? Amy, was that you? I was banned for sure. I don't think you were. When were you banned? You've never done anything. Holy crap. I can't believe it's working. I'm gonna click on your name after Spirit. this. Pop Who it app accidentally. You? Okay, that doesn't count. Are you That's the one here following me in the halls? 
She's evil. Wait, what? Amy, has something been following you around? Spirit, are you dangerous? Uh-oh. This isn't me, I swear. He's the monster's actually doing that. Amy, I don't like this. I'm scared. It's going to be okay, Vivian. Take deep breaths. Uh-oh. Amy, I want to stop. I want to do a Ouija board now. Amy? Why the spirit? Well, no, no. Okay. Are the spirit okay? didn't say he was bad. The spirit said he was dangerous. Those aren't necessarily the same things. I... I'll relight the candles. Any... All right, I'm going to say something. Are you ready for your dose of patriarchy? A man should be dangerous. A man should be dangerous so that if someone is trying to hurt, like, his wife or his kids, he can defend them. But that doesn't mean that that man is bad, right? Or his husband? Yeah. Yeah. There's, it's not necessarily bad to be dangerous. Cringe? <sighs> Alright. All men are bad. Men are dangerous? What do you mean? Tolo, are you dangerous? No, not at all. Not at all. Do you think I could beat... You've heard me speak. You can tell from my demeanor. Do you think I could beat anyone in a fight? Probably not. Tolos is something that true and people will call him cringe. Hello, Sleepy John. Thank you for the 18-month resub. I appreciate it. I'm just saying that, like, you can theoretically be dangerous and not be bad. Maybe... Amy? Amy! Maybe this where ghost was protecting me from Amy. Maybe Amy is bad. Amy? Where did you go? Your fellow Texan, you could be... I really don't... I've never really been in a fight before. I punched one person in the face in my entire life and there was a huge advantage because I had hit puberty and the person I hit in the face did not. So I don't I don't know, dude. I think I'd get my ass beat by by most people. Cuz most people have been in a fight at least once, right? You need to remember I'm a sheltered homeschooled kid. Never had to deal with like a like a genuine antagonist before. have a bat though it's not like you can be not dangerous women don't trust men and that's fine like that's understandable i don't trust men or women i don't like trust is not my default state for for people and i think that's okay you shouldn't you shouldn't let that go into a point where you're like a misanthrope and be mean to people all of the time but a healthy level of distrust is okay you can't be an idiot you know you can't just assume everyone has the best intentions for you because that's a good way to get hurt. Uh oh. That did not sound like a good noise. Homeschooled? Yeah. How was it in the US? Well, I didn't learn much because my mom just let me play World of Warcraft all day instead of doing high school. But it had some perks. Like, I can say that I fucked the teacher, for example. A lot of people in high school can't say that. Uh, and I didn't get in trouble for it. So, you know, it's, it had its pros and its cons. Uh, I, I So, to give you a real answer, I think it was really, really bad. I think it was really not good for me. I had very little socialization. Going into college, after being like a hermit who only played World of Warcraft for four years... And I, I went to church and church camp. My parents forced me to do that so I had some level of socialization. But it's... I don't know, man. I don't think it was good. I, I think I probably... Oh, shit. I probably would have been better off as a human being if I had gone to normal school like a normal person. Holy shit. I know, there's like a little anime girl running. You, home Alabama, brother, you can't even... How the fuck do you misspell sweet as stew with two E's? Are you on drugs? Give me some. It's some sort of tunnel closed off by bars. What is that cold, bitter smell? Coffee? If 
cousin was homeschooled and had the same opinion. Yeah, like, dude, imagine, imagine going into college and trying to talk to women as like a, a completely stunted homeschool kid. It was the height of embarrassment. Thank you, McBee, for the 63 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. It wasn't great. Like, there's no point on dwelling what could have been. Amy? But I would never, if I had a kid, I would never homeschool them, ever. She kind of reminds me of Mr. Rossetti from Animal Crossing for some reason. You look so stupid. Yeah, I hear that all the time, man. Thanks. Talom- What? Misa, I don't know, okay? Holy shit. Bye-bye. Well, that- game visually. I think the, vi the visuals of it are really, really good. You can tell they definitely put a lot of love into it. I'm super surprised that it's all voice acted too. So I don't have to do like embarrassing women noises to voice act the characters like I would usually do. Also, the portraits are all fucked up now. I didn't notice that if it was like that previously. Okay. Watch porn with this low poly aesthetic. I would not watch porn with these minors per se. Oh my god. Uh, I really like the low poly aesthetic for erotic art. That's because you were like me as a fucking kid who would read cheat codes on the internet about like Laura Croft uh, titties cheat code and try to do it in the game and it would never work. I've been there. Remember, I spent an entire Saturday night trying to figure out how to get Joanna Dark to be uh, naked in perfect art. Whatever, pop it up. I've never played any of those games anyways. How the fuck did you know? I know that many people from our generation were mesmerized by those pyramids. Those triangles. Fake gamer, yeah, okay, pop it up. When's Frontier, bro? Stowe's gonna play. What? You gonna play Frontier with us, pop it up? Hmm? Huh? He is? I'm gonna make him. He doesn't have a choice. He's he's my friend, and I'm gonna be like, Stow, we gotta do it, man. I think I can convince him. There are papers and textbooks scattered on the ground. Wait, is this right? Why are the pages dated, dated 1991? Where am I? Don't get riled up, pop it at. She's just a togepi. I am down. MCK sent me the files. And... Misa, you need to play with us, too. And then we could have the Retirement Home Monster Hunter Squad. Banjo's being pretty good for once in the lobby. That's good. He's probably tired. We're gonna game so fucking hard, it's unbelievable. How is the game? Well, we just started, but it seems pretty good so far. I need to stop talking about stupid shit, though. Like, it's actually a pretty decently immersive game, and I'm just... This is why no, none of the fucking developers like me. Because they're like, oh, look, some idiot played my game. And I'm talking about, like, orca whales and tilicum and, like, fucking cum golems or whatever the fuck. I need to be a good boy. It's a payphone. If I can get out of here, I can call... Okay, so our objective is the payphone. What does she want? Pumpkin spice, perhaps? Statue of a girl... If, okay, for sure, pumpkin spice. Why would somebody put this here? Why would Tolo say the same what, Misa Coco? Oh shit, did you see that? It was a gnome. Okay. I mean, there are a few, like, Torpal, Torpal Amir boys. Um, but they have to, like... It, 
I don't know. Torpal has a similarly demented sense of humor to me. Torpal is someone I could actually be friends with in real life. Tryouts for Phantom of the Opera this Friday. It'll be the biggest show Sunnyside has put on yet. All experience levels are welcome to try. Will you be the next star at Sunnyside? Thank you, Matt Mank, for the 69 months. I appreciate it. Enhance the experience for me? Yeah, I mean, some people like it. Some people really don't, and that's okay. But I, I, I definitely feel like I have a bizarre sense of humor. Holds up, Spork. I think I... No, it's actually her hair. Her, her little... That one piece of hair that, that's whipping and neighing. I thought it was like a little creature scurrying around the corner, but it, it wasn't. Torpal sends five animals going goblin mode in the video chat. Dude, animals going goblin mode is pretty funny. I have a lot of animals that go goblin mode. I'm still like... This is going to sound really lame and embarrassing, but I'm still stoked that a couple weeks ago I got one of the rats to, like, lay in my lap and boggle. I've never gotten a rat to like me that much. I'm finally, like, it, like friends with that rat. We're going to hang out in the underground tunnels again, you in? No, duh, I heard there are spy holes into every class somewhere down there. Isn't that creepy? Gross, let's find them. What rat? Goose. Rats are smart, I know. That's why they don't want to be friends with me. So this one must be stupid. A note between students. Hey, are you trying out for the play this Friday? No way, Heather's just going to get the lead again anyways. I overheard Chrissy practicing in the bathrooms. The weird girl, as if. Plus, Heather always gets her way. What the fuck is this about? The rose is stuck on something. I can get a better look if I dig the dirt. Can I pry the... Okay, we need to pry open the fingers. Alright. I've always wanted to do that. Like, it seems like it would be really fun to, like... Never mind. I need to stop talking. What? Don't worry about it. Just forget I said anything. Also, a dirt diary page. I'm so anxious about Friday. Phantom of the Opera is one of my favorite shows of all time. Heather was so angry when she found out I was practicing. I already don't have friends, and now everyone glares at me to stay on Heather's good side. I just want to be the star, so maybe Raul will finally notice me. I've always wanted a grave rob. No! Okay, you thought I was talking about grave robbing. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Brave robbing would be pretty cool. Somebody left a duffel bag here. I can open it up if I unzip it. You take the office key card. The note says, Hey Dana, could you return the toolbox to the repair guy that came last week? He left in a hurry and forgot his stuff, said he heard ghosts in the underground area. Must have been those kids again. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, we bully you so much by wanting you to uh, play video games with us. Absolutely horrible. I'm actually talking about deflowering mannequins. Shit. Okay, well, let's... Oh, this is the key card door over here. What can I see in this window? There's like a little toolbox thing. That's probably what I need to pry the fingers open. I thank you not to loom, son, for the 22 months. How's your day been? I mean, it's... It's a day. Not... Nothing has really happened yet today. The stream is the first significant event that has happened for me. I slept pretty good last night. Banjo's 40 pounds now, and it's all muscle, too. He's scary. What's going on, Ryu-sensei? You know friends don't let friends play Frontier? Yeah, that's not true. Students involved Heather Moore and Chrissy Castro. In the locker room, students witnessed Heather locking Chrissy in a bathroom stall. Heather kept the door blocked while the other students dumped a bucket of water over Chrissy. There's a sticky note on top of the report. It reads, Don't file this report. We don't want to deal with the super with Superintendent Moore again. Budgets are tight enough as it is. Okay. What do you think the odds are of Chrissy being the one who set the school on fire because she got bullied? 
Hello, Caramel. What's up? I also think it's really cool that the mascot of the, of the school are the sharks. Heather sucks. Oh, no. Shit. Okay. Need to find a code. I don't think I've seen anything that would, would give me the code for that yet. It's going to be another cock and ball torture puzzle game like last night. It's a note between teachers. Hey, Dana, could you check if all the repair guys tools are in the box? Should be pliers and screwdrivers inside. Zero, zero, one. Oh, okay. Well, that's real easy. I felt like I was a fucking monkey in a laboratory during last night's game. Some of the shit was so cryptic. <laughs> like, holy fuck, dude. God, that second boss in last night's game especially made me feel like I was taking crazy pills. Okie dokie. So let's get our screwdriver and pliers. Was it safe? Yeah, but it was good. Like, it was insane in a good way. I'm not, I'm not bitching. But man, dude. The pliers are fucked up. Pair of broken pliers. If I repair the broken pliers, I can take them. So I don't think I have that. But maybe I could use the screwdriver for something. Alright. So I wonder if this... Oh. It's a shame it's not Sunday, right? Because we're going into the vents. Have you seen what real-life ventilation shafts look like sometimes? Like, I'm, I'm sure there are buildings where they're how they're depicted in video games, but some of them legitimately look like nightmare hell fuel. No? Let, let me see if... No, I'm, I'm not gonna... No, I can't be sidetracked. We need to play the video game. Some of them just look extraordinarily claustrophobic and have, like, huge sudden drops where you would just die, basically. A note to the principal. I saw some kids trying to sneak into the tunnels again. Luckily, Crane was there and stopped them before they got hurt. He said he would keep an eye on the sewer entrance to make sure kids don't go in there. Every time you open something, I expect a jump scare. I don't jump scare you guys, though. When the fuck have I ever done that? Uh-oh. We're in the boys' locker. We're gonna find some Axe Body Spray. We're gonna, we're gonna use it to make a lump so strong that we can repair the pliers. A note between students. I can't believe Chrissy the Weirdo has the guts to practice in front of me. Right? Who is she kidding? No way is she beating you, Heather. Totally. I'll make sure my dad talks to Mr. Crane just in case. I'm so jealous your dad being superintendent is so cool. So, alright. I'm gonna go ahead and say there's nothing wrong morally with jump scaring your wife. Especially if it's funny. I don't regret it. I would do it again, but it wouldn't be as funny as the first time. And I do want her to like me. So I feel like if I did it too often, I'd get in trouble. Well, this doesn't... Okay. I think morally you're obligated to do it. She's tried to scare me before, too, but I have... I have amazing senses. Maybe not when I'm streaming, but in the real world, I can detect a I can detect a, a lady sneaking up on me very easily. Find two quarters. Okay, so we need to find something in a vending machine, I guess. The fire's starting again, too. Can't scare Colomio with his domain expansion. Woman detector. Oh. Okay. This is just like Skibbity Twin. <laughs> Original joke. Please do not steal. Are we... There's some new Skibbity Toilet episodes. Are we gonna... Are we gonna do a stream or we watch those? Cameraman brother. We better... Watch it together. Yeah, you guys want to watch Skibbity Toilet with me? Tolomeo Chan. I know Misa does. Misa was telling me in mod chat, like, Tolomeo, thank you so much for introducing me to Skibbity Toilet. My life has changed for the better. I have a new perspective on life, liberty, 
and, and just general humanity after watching it. My relationship with my husband has improved, and we watch Skibbity Toilet together every night as a bonding experience. I suck at this, dude. Folios and stealth games, not a great combination. Alright, what if I simply flee? It did tell me earlier that you can hide under these, and I guess they can't. They can't see you. Sounds like pieces, so I believe it. I don't like how he, he like, pulls me to him and gives me a oh, fuck. Goodbye. Open the inventory. Okay, so the inhaler is my heal. I guess that makes perfect sense. It literally Jeez. is like, uh. What was that thing? Amnesia with inhalers. I want to go back in there. Do you think there's going to be a monster? The window to the boys' locker room is open. So he despawns. Because I wanted to go over here and see if I could fiddle with the vending machine, but I guess not. Should I follow Tolomeo on X? No, I I perhaps have the worst of all of the Twitters. I literally only post stream announcements, and like once every three months or so, I'll post like a picture of my dogs. Or um, perhaps a Gundam. It's not exactly a, a huge source of content. Cause like I don't I, I don't know I feel like with Twitter, a lot of people post like like some event happens and it's like I personally like I don't know like the police will wrongfully kill a black man or something and they'll be I personally believe that black people are human beings and it's like yeah so everyone does I mean okay maybe not the police but it just I don't know I don't know man it feels like no one wants to hear me say the same thing everyone else is saying on twitter so i don't know how to utilize it like i don't have anything interesting or unique to say like what the fuck am i gonna say on twitter a thank you mika for the 22 month resub i appreciate it how are you i think everyone who watches the streams knows where i stand on things like that uh so maybe i could say hot takes like one Piece is a dog shit anime, and everyone who likes it likes to fuck dogs. I could do that, I guess. Uh, I don't believe it though, so I don't really wanna, don't really wanna say it. But that would get people like engaging with the post. It's just stupid. It's not for me. I just don't. I don't know. Like I said, I just post like a picture of my dogs every once in a while and stream announcements. Feel like you would get doxxed? I mean, I don't fucking care. Whatever you could tweet, you could just say it on stream anyways, and it comes with voice and everything. Just been seen. No, I've thought about it because I'm like, man, my Twitter really fucking sucks. It's literally just stream announcements. What could I do to spice it up? And then I think about it, I'm like, wow, I really don't fucking care about Twitter, dude. <laughs> so I, I don't know, man. Guess I need to post more pictures of the dogs, and that's really it. They are pretty good dogs. It actually doesn't matter. I mean, I think it probably does, but... Gundam content? Wait, hold on. So... Alright. There's a tube of... Okay, B34. That's what I'm looking for. B34. Welding glue. In the vending machine. Okay. Only follow. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff on Twitter. Don't get me wrong. Oh shit! I just noticed that guy peering at me. There's people who make excellent art and like music and stuff and share it on Twitter. I'm not trying to be like all of Twitter is dog shit. It's not. There's some really good stuff. Uh, I think one of the best things you can do is follow uh, like artists and stuff on Twitter. Like I follow a few people who make Monster Hunter art. It's cool to see, you know? But I'm also an idiot. So I all, one of my favorite things to read on the internet is stuff that... that I'm, I'm a sucker for rage bait, basically. Like, I watch Cyrax on YouTube. 
I like watching dumb shit like that and reading opinions that make me feel a little bit irritated. Twitter is a cesspit of blue checks if you search anything news related. Yeah, there's different facets to it. It can be really cool. Just mine is not what I would call really cool. You can hire a PR agent to pretend to be a better you? With what fucking money? What am I going to pay them in? Like, Diet Coke cans? <laughs> then no. No, that's... Fuck that. I'd rather buy more Gundams, dude. Okay. So welding glue to, to use a plier on these fingers. He's, no, I mean, I guarantee you they're... Like, I've heard of personalities doing that, where there's people who run there... I have to hold it. Oh, look at that. Oh my god, isn't that satisfying? Mm. I wish I could fucking pull them so far back that they'd break. Just... You know? Come on, you can pull it out. Cannot fix pliers in real life. The force exerted on them needed to use them would cause them to immediately break again. I'm, a, I'm about to tell you something insane. Get ready. Ouija boards don't actually summon demons and ghosts. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I, I'm sorry to break it to you like this, but prove it. Well, it, okay. Are you familiar with an unfalsifiable hypothesis? Do you know what that is? What's going on, God of TVI? How are you? Pixar didn't happen. I do not believe you. You can't. You can't prove some something like that. You can't disprove it either. Sounds like a nine. Falsify these nuts. You can't falsify what doesn't exist. What's going on, Chomsey? How are you? Well, thanks. How are you, Tolo? I'm I'm trying to explain to, to people that Ouija boards aren't real. So I'm doing great. I've seen Ghost Adventures, Tolo. Are you telling me that show is fake? Yeah. Some toys are pretty dangerous, like lawn darts and kinder eggs. Neither prove nor disprove me. Yeah. Her nuts are an unfall... Well, I mean... Yeah. Like... An unfalsifiable hypothesis is like, I'm going to say something right now that you can't disprove. I actually have 17 goblins living in my urethra. They have a commune. Uh, and their names are just Goblin Jones. All, all of them are Goblin Jones. All 17 of them. And you can't disprove that. You can't. Unless I, I, I submit my dick to, for like an official. But then I could just say they're on vacation. Goblin Jim's actually in someone else's dick right now. Are they nice fellas? No. But I never noticed you before the audition. You were really something special. Your secret admirer. Embarrassing they still scare me? No, that's good. That's good. I think that's awesome. That means you still have the spark of creativity and wanderlust in you almost. Like, I, I wish that I was scared by something like Ouija boards. What's going on, Indolian? Like, sometimes I worry that I play horror games and I, I put on the appearance of, like, I'm, I'm a tough guy, and I'm not scared of the monster in this video game. I am a badass. But it's really not that. I wish all of this shit terrified me, like the Nun Massacre did. Because it's such a... I, I find the feeling of being scared to be such a cool feeling. Like, when, when you get so scared of, like, a video game or a movie that you're in the bathroom and you have, like, a paranoia that, like, the nun is going to be right outside of the bathroom ready to stab you. That shit is awesome. Now I'm just afraid of, like... I don't know, like a water pipe bursting or something. <laughs> Which is not as exciting. Should be able to call Amy. I don't know her fucking number. Oh, okay. Whoops, I have to insert a quarter first. Okay. I guess I have to click on the quarter slot. That would make a lot of sense. Get it. It would make about 25 cents. 
get it. You're not lulling. Why? Hello? Amy, it's Vivian. I'm so glad you're okay. Vivian, I'm relieved that you called. Are you safe? I've been searching for you. Of course I am, Viv. Where are you? I'm so confused. The school looks completely different and... I just finished getting ready. Please, tell me you'll make it to the theater to see me. I don't think Amy's on the other getting side of the ready. phone. Getting ready? Theater? What are you talking about? Don't worry, Viv. Everything is going to be spectacular. Just don't be late for the big show tonight at the Weber Building Theater. Okay. Wait! That's kind of creepy. Why does Amy? Vivian sound like Gregory from FNAF? Uh, okay, can we please stop talking about FNAF? I almost want to play it on stream. I'm almost there. Can you fucking imagine that nightmare? That's like a match made in hell, dude. Fucking oil and water. Tolomeo and Five Nights at Freddy's. And every time I get jump scared, I'm gonna mock the stupid fucking thing. And so it's gonna be like the most annoying fucking thing you've ever watched in your life. The school newspaper cast list for Phantom of the Opera, starring Heather Moore, Raul Rousseau, Understudies, Chrissy Castro, Andrew Brown, etc. School teacher from chat will come back. There are a few teachers. I'm worried about the kids. When I played Security Breach, there were like little kids coming in, and one of them expressed how elated they were. My mom said I could stay up past curfew to watch you finish this game. I... In... I can't fucking imagine being like a family friendly like content creamer creamer creator sorry freudian slip i want to be a minecraft streamer um like having to talk to literal children all fucking day on your stream i guess that's probably why they don't uh they don't talk to their chat right a diary page of course heather got the part crane sounded so excited after i auditioned too heather and raul get to play the leads together i don't stand a chance with him who am i kidding have to settle for understudy. Later discovered your fear and hunger VODs. Sometimes, like, someone will leave a comment on the VOD channel where it's like, I watch your fear and hunger VODs and they're great and I love them. And he shows it to me and I'm not sure why. But uh, people t seem to really like those. Chat will let you forget this. That's okay. Kid later went to find Arthur dies in the forest. A note between students. Whoa, did you see they changed the underground tunnel entrance cover? This crazy looking lock. Ugh. Yeah. I heard Crane got it installed because we kept breaking in. What a buzzkill. I, I'm waiting for the next Fear and Hunger 2 update. I want to play it. Decided I'm, I'm going back to it. It's like I said before. I don't want to go back to Elden Ring. I won't let you make me play Shadow of the Earth Tree, but I can I can go back to Fear and Hunger. I'm gonna have to fix the crashing problem, though. What do you think about people calling it Funger? I think it's asinine. I hate these stupid little nicknames, personally. Like, I really feel like Fear and Hunger is a simple and easy thing to say. I don't really understand why you have to give it a cutesy little nickname, and it kind of sounds like a bad word, too. Thank you, Yuminsky, for the 42-month resub. I appreciate it. However, I will say, since it got popular, it seems like a lot of people who like it and have joined the, the Fear and Hunger fandom seem to be on the, uh, I, I don't know. It's attracted a strangely young audience, which is not what I would have expected. And they call it things like Funger, which... It's a game where you're, like, chopping people's limbs off and getting fucked in the ass by, like, weird spiders. And it's got, like, this cutesy little name. And it's a strange dissonance. You're just, no, no, they're, I'm talking, like, under 18 young. Like, like, Five Nights at Freddy's young. 
Any plans for Halloween? Nope. Jumbo air conditioning unit isn't making any sound. Whoop, orange develop. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully he can, like, live off of it and, like, dedicate himself to the game. That would be awesome. Because I feel like it, it was probably a situation where he had to, at the very least, make some serious sacrifices to continue making games that in-depth. Hopefully he doesn't have to worry about anything like that anymore. If you play Haunting Grounds for October... Why are you guys assuming something's gonna happen for October? You want... You, that's how you're going to get Five Nights at Freddy's. We need fnaf -a -thon. I don't think you could do a month of FNAF. And I don't think... Aren't there like seven games of that shit? I don't know if I could take that gameplay loop for that long. I really don't. Like, it doesn't seem that fun to play, honestly. You just sit there checking the cameras, and it's like, oh, the fox is in 3A. I need to put on the fleshlight. Right? Markiplier? Okay, but I'm not Markiplier. Filter makes me nauseous. Really? I feel like it's not that bad compared to some of the other PS1 games. Seven games, an infinite amount of fan games? I'm not playing the fan games. I know all about the fan games. Swimming pool area, if I find a way to raise the gate. Okay, so. More complicated or different enough? A pink paper hand, but somebody ripped it to pieces. The name Heather is written on it. Turbo Glizzy Activate. I'm the master of Turbo Glizzy mode. When I was e Well... Never mind. It doesn't really have anything to do with the glizzy thing. And it's going to sound really weird because I went from super glizzy to like when I was a kid. But I used to love walking like a mech warrior robot and making like the uh, mm, tsh, uh, noises that that video, the dude in the video makes. I used to walk around pretending I was like a mad cat and like shooting my dog with missiles when I was a kid. Simpler times. It's a note from the maintenance department. Hey, Fred, we're a bit short-staffed right now, so no one can train you. Fuse box breaks. You just need to replace the fuses. Dude, this would legitimately be such a good game for the bingo. There's been so many bingo squares already. Well, I, was, I did dinosaurs, too. I remember I got made fun of because I did the T-Rex arms when I was playing soccer. I think you could be a blood-ass by RL. Okay, hold on. Um. Oh. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Ah. Uh. Password is 3451, but this lock requires symbols not. Does that. There's no way it's just like. Okay, I didn't think so. What the fuck? I'm going to assume I need some sort of. Hold on. What is this? Pool, gym, storage, bathrooms. Oh, can I only do one of these at once maybe not okay there's this over here five four three two okay that uh, i let me screenshot this really quickly that would probably fucking help that might that might help a little bit with this now the mechanism that you use here is a wee bit strange so okay three would need to be like What the fuck? Oh, oh, okay. Mate, hold on. Hold on. It's not that bad. So I would do... Alright. I thought it was one of those ones where you press... You press the thing, and it, like, shuffles the ones adjacent to it. But it was just doing it in an order of like strange. So that was pretty easy after all. What the fuck is this, though? This looks kind of cool. Electrical engineering is so easy? Dude, I can't imagine. I have a friend who's an electrical engineer, and... I don't know, dude. Motherfuckers are crazy. I think I'm winning. Alright, so I think there was something earlier. Like a generator-looking thing I needed to deal with. Oh. Hold on. Is 
info label for your safety. Yeah, there was a fuse box I had to fix. That makes a lot of sense. Machine that fries your balls. Have you seen the little, like, ball jacuzzis they advertise as, like, a form of contraceptive where you're, you're supposed to, like, boil your nuts regularly in the ball jacuzzi and it's supposed to, to make your sperm inert? It sounds like complete and utter nonsense. I would not ever trust something like that. But it's kind of funny. It's 5 p.m. time for your daily ball boiling? I, okay. All right, I'm gonna say something really fucking weird. A ball jacuzzi sounds kind of nice. Okay, hold on. Strip of tape that reads power supply is connected to the gymnasium. Power light, oh no. Is this not where I was supposed to do this? Ball comes are probably inert from all the jacuzzis I've been in. Texas, we get those for free during the summer. That's true. Thank fucking God it's almost... Like, summer is almost over. Thank you, Cynical Dude, for gifting a sub, Dandy. Appreciate it. The building is filled with smoke. No way I'm going in there. I'll have to clear out the smoke. Okay, that must be what the HVAC is for. Alright. At that point, just get a jacuzzi. But no, just like... Okay, okay. Like... Are you going to tell me, are you going to look at me with a straight face and say that playing video games with, like, a nice little ball jacuzzi doesn't sound like a good time? Like, imagine exploring Vardenfell and Morrowind, looking at Silt Striders, Nyx Hounds, making friends with the Dunmer, joining Great House Telvani, all while while enjoying the simple pleasures of the ball koozie. I think that sounds fucking sick. Maybe I'm a weirdo, but so be it. Ball koozie. The hurricane passed by my area and immediately fell to 60 degrees during the day here. That sounds nice. Opening the doors would help clear out the smoke. Sounds like you're making ball soup. Imagine if something fell into it. Like what, a toaster? What do you mean? They need to make a... No... I joined Redoran, so I'm ineligible for the ball. I, I can't believe out of all the houses you picked Redoran, dude. Like, come on. Misa, you, you joined the House of Honor? You? Ha. Pathetic. Frozen pretzel falls into Balkuzi. Day ruined. Okay, maybe there was more in that big room that I didn't see. Low cost of 69.69. You can have your own. It's literally called the text Testacuzzi. That's awesome. I don't understand the motherfuckers who were like, I'm only born in the wrong generation when we had the Testacuzzi. An ad for high velocity toilet flushers. There's a sticky note attached. Maybe this will help with those backed up toilets. Okay, so. I'm guessing this is the fuse box then, but like, how do I, how do I replace these? That's what I don't really get. Okay, so, I don't seem to be able to further interact with them, so there must be something else I need to do before that. Oh. in the sea. That makes sense. Okay. Okay, so it must be the one on the top that I'm trying to replace. I think I get it now. This is very elaborate compared to most fuse boxes, although the, the registration for this is a little wacky. It's not a tentacle, it's a tentacuzzi. Man. All right, perfect, okay. okay. Just needed to figure out how it works. Sometimes you just gotta fiddle with shit. Um, okay. 
So uh, thank you, Jenna, for the 42 month resub. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. to be getting to the pool in the office, right? So that mean does that mean I just don't have the right fuses for this then? Hold on, what does this little fucker do? Okay, so All right. That took a little long, but we, we kind of, we got two. Now I just need to find the extra fuses. I know what to do with this now. Can I? All right, so we can, bathrooms are unlocked and the storage is unlocked. So let's go find those places. Getting gaming, dude. Wait. Can I do anything with this now? Really good fuse. Yeah, yeah. They put a lot of love into this game. It's really well made. Uh-oh. What is that fucking noise? Shit. Restrooms. The gate is stuck. I'll have to find another way to raise it. What a horrible fucking noise. Jesus Christ. A diary page. Someone left me a secret admirer note and a beautiful rose, too. I thought I saw Raul looking at me in class. Maybe he did notice me after all. I don't know exactly where the storage is, but I guess it's right here. I need to remember where everything is. So I don't spend so much time wandering around doing nothing. What's going on, Goji? Need a key to unlock the... Okay, I don't have that. I do have a screwdriver and some pliers. Oh, it's a friendly gnome! Oh, it's a sad gnome. Uh -oh. Press F to toggle the flashlight. Wow, we actually do use the screwdriver here. Holy shit. Okay. This carry all over again? Dude, you know what movie I want to fucking watch? That Megan movie. Has anyone seen that one? It looked really, um... It came out a while ago. It's the one with the little, like, girl who's a robot. Like, a scary robot. Like, Chucky, but a girl. Pretty good. It was okay. It's on Prime. The AI doll. Yeah, it, like, hit the gritty on you. Did, like, scare you, you or okay something in, in a trailer? It's pretty fun. Megan, watch party? I mean, we already did Skinkamarink. So... Nothing special, but fun. See, I'm not... look With me, a lot of the time with movies, I'm, I am I feel like movies, I kind of enjoy the ones that are nothing special but fun the most. Take the Ring of Cabinet Keys. Okay. I'm going to admit a haram opinion. Are you ready? This one's, this one's not a good one. I enjoyed Transformers 1 and 2 from Michael Bay. I know that the second one is especially derided for being absolute stupid dog shit that's nonsense that nobody should ever watch. But I thought it was fun. I liked it. It was bad, but it was fun. My favorite parts were how, like, Megan Fox was in a desert, like, dodging fucking, like, swinging robot cocks and missiles, and there's, like, explosions and dirt everywhere, and she never had a speck of dirt on her face. Like, her makeup was pristine through the entire war of the robots, and I thought that was that was charming. Yuck, maybe I could drain this black sludge somehow. Finish the Piter game, no. A note between students, Raul totally has a crush on Chrissy, right? He's been staring at her in class. What, the quiet chick? No way. I think Chrissy might have burnt the school down because Raul was into the nerd. Enjoyed the first one, second one. I was in theater where the guys were in front of me were calling out what was going to happen before every scene. Oh, yeah, that sounds really awful. I had to eat in a restaurant next to someone who was presumably nearly deaf. 
Have you ever um, been around someone who doesn't know how loud they're being? I guess they can't hear very well, and they speak so fucking loud that everyone within 100 feet can hear what they're saying. I was sat right next to that guy, and he was verbose. Like, this motherfucker was reciting, like, the entirety of my immortals, like his mom or some shit. <laughs> next to the fucking... Right next to me, dude. It was... I... Gym storage cabinets. Okay. Is that... That's the padlock over here. My worst experience in theaters was fucking Avatar 2 where those idiots didn't know how a 3D projector works and shit was blurry. It look, I used to have a big problem with that as well, Neko Kid Wolf. I, I almost got kicked out of my chemistry class once because me and a friend I had made in the class were being way too loud. So... I used to have problems with that. So it's not really, a, not really a hate thing. I get it. Probably just an asshole. Yeah, no, I wasn't deaf either. I'm also just an asshole. So, you're probably right. I think I needed two fuses for this one, but I'm gonna check just in case. Yeah, there was. Yeah, it was C and. I need to find another one. I'll put this one in here while I'm down here. Now, where the fuck would C be? It must be the bathroom. I need to find that. I need to drain the sludge toilet. So, hold on. Sticky note attached. Maybe this will help with us back to... Is that here? Or is it something that's... Do I just have to fucking flush it? I thought it was like a chemical or something, but it doesn't seem to make mention of anything like that. It sounds like there's just super flushers in there that I can maybe hit. On the 3rd of July, my family and I went to a buffet. There was this fat, Nikocado-looking motherfucker who was being noisy and chewing. Okay, so yeah. I... I'm really bothered when people chew with their mouths open and make a lot of noise. But I also try to be understanding because I remember I I remember when my like the day my mom's funeral happened. I was in the car and my my ex was like, "Okay, we need to get food." And so we got a bunch of chicken nuggets while we're waiting for this funeral, and I ate one and she complained that I was eating too loudly. So I said, "Okay, I'll wait till you and my sister are done eating." So I can have some chicken nuggets. And they just decided to eat them all. <laughs> so I had one chicken nugget. And I was fucking starving. Uh, so I try not to be that crazy with it. My mom was also really bad at it too. Oh yeah, it's just, I don't know if I'm going to pick this up. but Because I, I get it. Like when it's really loud and obnoxious... I it bothers me too, but I don't. I don't think I'm that. Uh -oh. God, my problem is I'm a messy eater. Like I spill shit on myself all the time. That's my cardinal sin. Like I eat like a fucking wolverine, dude. Especially if it's chicken wings. Oh my fucking god, I'm like the glizzy overload guy. <laughs> the fucking chicken wings, dude. Okay, serious time. Uh, shit. Never, yeah, no, I, I, I struggle with eating, eating, like, uh, without getting crumbs and shit on the table, too. Just a messy eater. It's probably because I have a recessed idiot chin, if I had to guess. It must be some physiological reason that happens. Okay, so it's ten and eight. I can't wait to go to the pool. She seemed to take being lit on fire pretty well. well. This doesn't seem like it's necessarily a sequence that's happening in reality. Maybe it is. Okay, so we can do pool and office now. 
the fucker still appears to be outside. Can't imagine the skibbity toilet. No, Dreams is dead, dude. I would be really surprised if there was skibbity toilet stuff on Dreams. Can we go in here now? Is it alive? I can actually die. Oh, I can for sure. Uh, but that's what the inhaler is for. See, I, you, you can get hit three times before you die. So you use the inhaler when you're one hit from death. So the next time I get hit. Dreams is such a cool game. What the fuck is Skibbity Twit? Honestly, if you don't know, I would just remain ignorant. I think it's one of the things that's beneficial to be ignorant to, personally. Pool is filled with some sort of black goop. So gross, I don't want to touch that stuff. You live no, no, no. Oak Tree, not everyone is on the fucking computer all the time. I'm sure there are plenty of people who don't know what Skibbity Toilet is. Imagine what that's like, not being a terminally online motherfucker. Couldn't be me. Joke, I wanna... I don't really think it's a joke. People seem like they really enjoy it. Even people in my chat were saying that they were invested in the lore. So, and I didn't exactly go into it with like, a, oh yeah, this is something we're all going to enjoy sort of mentality, right? Did you see the crazy accident with Heather slipping on the diving board? They're being really careful here now. Mr. Fitz even shut off the drain pump and put the valve in his office. Okay, so office, drain pump. Didn't know until the stream. Then that means I have been a stumbling block for you. That means that I have been a net negative in your life. If the things you have learned here are things like skibbity toilet, then I'm sorry. No possible valve turning. Yeah, it's like they made a game for bingo, right? A sign that reads caution wet floors, high risk of slipping and falling. I, do you think that actually has gameplay implications? Like you can slip when you sprint and take health damage? That would be kind of cool. Right? So I'm guessing I'm probably not going to be able... Oh no, there is in fact a pool office. Let's pick up the phone. I'm sure it's going to be our little friend. Brawl did that. Hello? I remember. I remember people hated Brawl because of that. <laughs> Amy! <laughs> Do you really think I date you, Viv? I know about that sad, sappy letter you wrote me. You don't even have the guts to say it on my face. No. No, way. I know this isn't you, Amy. Just go home. Viv, I'm happy here. <laughs> so happy. I'll save you no matter what. Even if you do hate me. <laughs> well. I don't think that's actually her. I think that's, a, that's abundantly clear. Ha oh. She stated there was an oily substance on the diving board that caused her to slip. Unfortunately, we cannot find evidence of the substance. We believe it was an accident. Sticky note, password reminder, year both teams won gold. What? Oh. Uh, girls swim team gold, 1987, 1990. Boys swim team gold, 1991. 1987. Okay. Should be 1987. I think. Unless I'm dyslexic. Okay. Easy peasy. Maybe? Okay. Okay, okay. I was like, huh. It would be the funniest shit if the game introduced a Chad Thundercock character and suddenly that's a love interest. 1987, gang. I wasn't even born, dude. I was still, uh... Bingo the whole card or just a line or diagonal? It's a line or diagonal, but we're not doing bingo today. I'm just saying, like, if this was on a Sunday, this game would be given a lot of bingies. But that's okay. I think... Th 
I think tomorrow's gonna be a rough night for winning bingo. But I think the games are going to be, I think they're gonna be worth watching. Got some real winners, I think. Wonder how often any sort of password security is ignored in real life since in games every person just puts a sticky note next to their machine. Another Sunday of not getting bingo? Well, you don't know that for a fact. Yeah. You know how to get the crowd excited? That's me, dude. I'm like meatloaf. So, one of my... Oh, I just had to click it twice. Okay. I realize that Anonymous Gift is an actual Twitch user. Yeah, but that's that's not the person getting gifts. I'm, I'm sure you know that. Turns out you even need to bring them until next year? Nice. Has anyone gotten three bingos? There's, I think, two or three people who have four. There's a, there's a decent number who have three. This is a fucking... What kind of pool is this? A burnt letter in rose. Dear Chrissy, under study no longer, it's your turn to shine. Your secret admirer. Oh, the secret admirer is fucking with the bitch. Sorry. She's probably not a bitch. She probably just has, like, a rough home life, which makes it okay for her to be terrible to everybody. My mistake. Love how you interact with the environment in this. Yeah, this is a really well-made game. So far, I don't think it's particularly scary. I don't find this monster to be the, the absolute definition of horrifying, but oh, this is no, no fucking on. Absolutely Unreal Tournament 2004, 2005, 2006 Unreal Championship Oh, bro, be blind stealth guy? Yeah, what can I say, man? I'm talented I'm not gonna be able to get the fuck back up Oh, no, no, that's right I, I, okay. Wow, I actually did a stealth segment correctly And didn't get owned by the monster There's a first time for everything Tormented Souls? Tormented Souls is pretty good. I think I still think it's really funny that I played Tormented Souls before any actual like Silent Hill games. Resident Evil games. Oh yeah, baby. What are we gonna get in the raffle? Damn. Bingo enthusiast achievement. Sounds like Tolo is finally ready to beat Gollum. I No. No, I don't think I am. You really want me to do fucking... No. That sounds like absolute torment. Gollum is a real video game that exists. It wasn't my imagination. I need another fuse. I don't have the, uh... I don't have the F fuse. Or uh, the E fuse, I'm sorry. So... It had to have been around there. Wait, what other room did I unlock? So I got... The office and the pool. I don't think I've been to the office. Been to the pool office, but I don't think I've been to the actual office around here. I think. Milk shale? That sounds disgusting. I don't think you should consume shale under any circumstances. The fuck's a golem? It's the Lord of the Rings golem game that I played for like one day. Because it was... I played it specifically because it was allegedly really, really bad. But it was actually a super masterpiece that was unfairly reviled. And we we ended up... I'm just kidding. It was just as bad as everybody said it was. It was terrible. Can you say milk shale like a British? No. Tolo what, Vok 186? You know I don't like being Tolo dot dot dotted. You know I fucking hate that shit. 
honestly worse than what I had ever anticipated. I don't know. I didn't play enough to make a final judgment call. What I played of it was pretty, pretty uh, difficult to stomach. No one while you can't see the order on. It looked like a China brand wing zero. Pretty sure it might be better than. Oh, I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> I I ended up getting it. Tolomir, what? Hold on. Why are you dot dot dotting me? Is this? Hold on. Is this supposed to be? Clean metal. No, this isn't the office. Eight three gas station hot dogs. Nice. Was it better than Goodbye Volcano High? I, I hate this question because I really don't think... I, I'm going to say it. I don't think Goodbye Volcano High was a bad game. I just think it's a niche game that is not going to appeal to 99% of people. It was fine. I thought it was going to be like a weird fetish game because of the characters being dinosaurs and furry adjacent. But if... I think for the right person it'd be a good game. It wasn't, like, it was made competently. The music's fine. It wasn't like, oh my god, this is so bad. But, expecting it to be worse. Actually, all right, still mad about the ending. So where the fuck is the actual office then? That game's so ass, they, like, immediately closed the entire studio that made it. The fact that you could just not do anything during the rhythm... Yeah, I mean... But, okay, okay, so here's the thing, right? Where's the last fuse, brother? There's no fucking way it's in here, right? Okay, so the, the rhythm section... I'm, I'm trying to f figure out a way to say what I want to say without it seeming like I'm, I'm shitting and dragging the game. When you have games like that that are meant to appeal to, like, a more... Like, the game was pretty clearly aimed at gay teenagers. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And I think when you have these games that are meant to be, like, more progressive stories, they're usually also the same crowd that is very much a proponent for accessibility in video games in the form of it being impossible to actually fail and get gate kept by difficult mechanics. So I, I the the fact that you could fail those and still succeed is not even remotely surprising to me. Gay teenagers can press buttons, they are not gay toddlers. Sure. I don't I I don't really think that the accessibility argument is it holds too much water myself but i think that is probably what they would tell you if you were to ask them why you could fail the rhythm sections and still progress i'm about 99 percent sure that's the rationale behind it it's not necessarily something i agree with but there are definitely people who subscribe to this idea that games should not be like this challenging thing and if you want you can just speed through and not interact with the game part of it and just get your story so what the fuck am i supposed to do here I'm actually kind of stuck one of the games to be accessible they should have a save or chapters function did it not i i huh you missed something in the pool office okay i'm pretty sure i saved in that game I did two different streams of it. I didn't leave the game open all night. Could be better at failing the rhythm parts could actually hurt your progress. A single interesting thing that the character said. Yeah, that's fine. It's all auto saving. Why do you think games have journalism mode nowadays? Oh my god. What? There is a fucking thing. Hold on. How did I miss this? I'm a stooge. My bad. Too busy talking about, like, goodbye Volcano High and asinine bullshit. Conversely, they are thinking that the gay teenagers perfect. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know about gay teenagers, but uh, my wife's little brother is a Zoomer. He's not even a Zoomer. He's generation now. He's really. And he is a god at, like, the Osu rhythm 
Dude, he's... Okay, he's just camping. What an asshole. What a son of a bitch. He's not bugged. He's just fucking with me. I need to get that door. I need to reset it. Please. I'm assuming that resets him. Never should have got caught by him in the first place. Same thing you did last time. Let's just take it slow and easy. I always, always struggle with the stealth segments because I always just want to go. I don't want to sit here and do stealth stuff. Okay. Wait for him to turn around again. It's funny that I, I said that I was a god gamer who did this stealth section on the first try, and now I'm getting owned by it. I'm getting fucking straight up green. Okay, Jesus. I hope I don't need all those heals. Really should have made a bingo card for this. There are some people who apparently say they do bingo every night, even when it's not appropriate, so... It just won't count for anything, I guess. You can be the master of your own destiny. Inappropriate bingo? Yeah. Thank you, Steam Beals, for the resub. I appreciate it. Thank you for 54 months. How are you? Okay, so one, one, one. That's easy to remember. How's it been, dog? It's going. I'm getting my ass beat by uh, the monster from Skibbity Toilet. Unsanctioned bingo, the horror. Non-consensual bingo, my favorite. Hear me out. What if weird porn game Discord streams became a regular thing with their own bingo? This guy wants to see me fuck cows. For sure. For sure. Alright, so now we should be able to get into that one building. Well, who doesn't? Uh... I don't know, man. I don't think anyone besides that guy... Uh-oh. Oh, that's actually pretty creepy. I don't like how they, like, turned around, looked at me, and then slunk away. 
Because it means they weren't waiting for me. They're just kind of here. Like, doing their own thing, and I stumbled in when I shouldn't have. Okay. So let's see what's in this room that had all of the smell. I just want you to play Orc Massage. Why? The building is filled with smoke. No way I'm going in there. Clear out the... Oh. oh. So... I need to do it over here. In no moment. I still want, like, good horror games to feature gnomes and sasquatches and yetis. Perhaps the Loch Ness Monster. There's so much potential there. I mean, we've had a ton of alien games lately, so why why not Nessie? That's some good audio design. Do I need to get up there? It kind of, I guess this is... Do you really mod a GTA San Andreas? But that's not a horror game. Can someone tell me the evolutionary benefit of... Not everything has an evolutionary benefit. Play Northern Journey? Yes. Long as monsters hard because of the setting. I mean, there are plenty of ocean horror games, right? Unless you're just talking about modeling people other than that. Like the challenges of making faces that are appropriate to the location. And may may maybe, but I don't know. I feel like you could do it. It'd be really cool. Why can my dick taste spicy food? Counselor incident informed, a few students were bullying Chrissy in the arts hallway, but Raul stopped the fight. Both students were counseled on the situation or back in class. So glad the anti-bullying assembly had an effect. What's going on, King Akira? Why is everyone suddenly asking about Northern Journey? What did YouTube algorithm do now? I mean, that game's been popular for a while. Some degrees framed for the school counselor. Okay, let's go in here. Nobody was removed from the gene pool because their dick was susceptible to a plan on a different continent. The kissy kissy and the dark assembly had an effect. What? Have you played Cruelty Squad? Yes. We need to find the sprinklers. There are five sprinklers on the ceiling. I can get into the theater if I find a way to turn them on. this. But all right. Can you imagine walking into like a school building where the theater's right here and there's just this elaborate fucking manhole with a, like an, a ruby or some shit in the center? Huh. Okay, well, we're in the tunnels that have been alluded to for so long. I don't like that there's a closet there. Perhaps that is a metaphor. Uh oh. Okay, so this nice stone lady has the keys. I didn't have to do anything either, she just gave them to me. Alright. Cool. Does not have a chamber of secrets? Dude, I've, I've always homeschooled. I don't think the homeschools get the chambers of secrets. The is too heavy for me to lift on my own. Okay, but what if I use the pliers? I must need a jack or something. Make pizza with breast milk instead. You're gonna make me throw up. That doesn't sound good at all. Sometimes I think you're one of those guys who needs to be stuffed in a locker. I don't know if I can condone this sort of behavior, Misa Coco. 
tummy hurts? What'd you eat? Did you do that thing where you eat, like, pizza and gummy worms and ice cream and all sorts of nonsense? Or just Burger King? You what he said? Yeah, but, like... I agree with Misa. So you're saying that if someone says something a little bit off color, we need to stuff them into a locker and traumatize them and make it to where they they go into their shell never to come back again and just are, are incapable of interacting with society. Wow, what a nice moderator. What kind of asshole streamer would, would make you a mod? What a joke. This very moment eating McDonald's spicy chicken nuggets? What's the review? That would be ideal in this case. I like Kuwana. No, no, no. No, okay, no. All right, so I'm equally repulsed by some of the things Cool 109 Love said, but I played Backrooms with him on voice. He had an innocent laugh. The innocent laugh of someone who still has love for life. The laugh of someone who maybe isn't innocent in the sense that they say disgusting things, but they, they're still like... I don't know how to articulate it. There's like, a, there's like a love for life there that not everybody has, and you don't want to snuff it out, Misa Coco. The locker would fix that too? This is so fucked up. Bullying works, kids. Saying that, yeah, he literally came on the stream. Most people have jitters. Most people are nervous. So I, I tend to try to amplify it and make it awkward intentionally by asking them to sing me a song. And this motherfucker did the entire, like, Skyrim theme song. Just pulled it out of his ass like it was nothing. He's fine. Raul, thank you for standing up for me last week. I'm really excited to be in the play together. Mr. Crane says I need extra acting lessons, so I have to stay late after school with him most days. But we can practice together sometime on the weekend. Chrissy. You did it well. It was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you, Sir Led, for the 26-month resub. I appreciate it. I kind of smell. I don't know if my sister is cooking something. Or if I'm having a stroke. I smell something. Slight, slightly burnt. Some kind of construction con contract installation of a prop chandelier. Client requests the chandelier to be installed hanging over the stage. The ropes will be used to secure the fixture. Understand the risk. Please accept the agreement. What's going on with this rock? It's pretty satisfying to just pull stuff out. I don't think I have the key for the strange keyhole. Degrees and awards. This teacher must have been really serious about theater. Saying it could fix him, her, is way outdated now. True ascending is wanting them to be crazier. No, I just like him the way he is. That backroom stream is the last time I laughed with innocent joy. Wouldn't be surprised it's another burning outlet. Reddit will hate you if you don't open that safe. Hmm. They hated Cool 109 Love because he dared to have a personality. Yes, his personality may have been primarily revolving around, like, breast milk pizza and other shit, but we have, we have to accept our brothers and sisters in Christ and not be stumbling blocks for them, you know? Is this the same one or is this a different thing? I feel like it's a different one. Breast milk pan pizza? Yum. Uh -oh. A note between students. Is it me or has practicing for this new play been really intense? No, we've all been feeling the stress. The drama teacher has been micromanaging everything. Can't wait until this play is over. Lizard employee? No, he's just a goofball. Who do you think is more... Cifferoni or Cool 109 Love? What do you think? Oh, no. Hold on. I 
love when games give you a piano to play. New practice schedule for Phantom of the Opera. All orchestra students must attend each session. It's got to be something to do with the blood. I mean, that's what makes sense, right? Hold on. I, I guess I didn't. Oh, I can't even play these. It's one of these Japanese side saves? No, this actually takes place in a high school with high schoolers, which I just realized that, yes, it could be one of those Japanese sex games, but it's not. It's innocent and wholesome. Except for the camera guy who's trying to kill me. Play Skyrim theme? Okay. Hope I did a good job. What's this TV about? Plug it. Oh my god, I need composite cables. Holy shit. That's a blast from the past. So, I feel like the piano thing is something that should just be apparent. It has to be something like this, but like... I don't know what else it would be, because this has the most blood, and it looks like there's a line going here. Does that one song from Looney Tunes? I feel like it's the, the red... It's a red herring. There's more to explore out here, so I'm going to do that. Playing it right makes it explode. It's like that fucking game we played on Sunday that gave you this shitty interview about being a YouTuber and if you answered the questions wrong, the PC blew up. One of the most unique jump scares I think I've ever seen. It was pretty funny. How are you doing, Tolo? I'm alright. How are you? I'm trying to figure out the secret of the piano. I'm not having much luck so far. Painting of a couple holding hands. It looks like someone's watching them in the distance. It's a little creepy. You've just got that alien sitting in the background watching. A diary page. I can't believe it. Raul asked me to be his girlfriend. We made it official and bought promised necklaces at the mall. Now kissing him on stage will be even more romantic. There are hearts drawn all over the page. So I know what to do with this. It reminds me of Silent Hill I just got here. Is the game scary? Um... Kind of. Where are you? Shit, he's leaving a trail of fire. Close? Yeah, that wasn't great. Reminds me of my country. Farm pick? What the fuck? No! Come on, asshole. I should have just run. Spotlight head speak. He has a spotlight for a head and no mouth. Maybe it's just a big helmet. Farm yeah, dude, a farm pig, if you had to avoid... Spotlight head fuckers, I'm so sorry. Farm pig's country is the back rooms? Oh my God. Okay, so do I have to... It's weird that you have to do it with your hand before let's use the jack. Maybe he was born like that, stop judging. DLC. What's going on with this mirror? Looks like it was hung up differently from the others. Alright. Physics in these puzzles? Yeah, like, it's a very, very well-made game. The puzzles so far haven't been terribly hard, but they're satisfying just because shit like that. 
Uh, the feedback you get for interacting with them is really good. You pick up the face piece. A diary page. I got another admirer letter. I thought Raul was my admirer, but now I'm sure it isn't him. I'm so scared. I feel like I'm being constantly watched. I should show this letter to Raul. Oh. That was... I was wondering what that was. It was one of those little freaks staring at me. I thought it was maybe like a quarter or something that I could pick up. Burn letter and rose. How could you break my heart? He will just hold you back. I won't let him ruin our special night. <laughs> oh, that's not what I'm doing. Hold on. I had lunch with my professional therapist, schizophrenic friend today, and she said that my eye contact made her fizz and lose contact with reality because it made her forget about peeing, and when she forgets about bodily urges, she loses her grasp on reality. What the fuck are you talking about? That doesn't make any goddamn sense. So is she just... Okay, if we're taking this at face value, is she just thinking about pissing constantly? Was your therapist Kangler? What the hell are you... Oh. That's kind of cool, actually. Sounds like most therapists I know. Why do you think we want to show- Dude, you, you don't shove people in lockers for that, though. You just want to be a bully. You're so fixated on this locker thing that it's, it's it has nothing to do with Cool 109 Love. You just want to hurt someone, Pop It App. And Misa. And Pyro Man. I see through you. So can I not- oh. Oh, that just straight up set me on fire. Holy shit. Well. Chat's full of bullies. You should have a locker at Tolokan. There's nothing wrong with shoving someone in a locker if they deserve it. You're not... But, okay, that's the problem. Like, who's to say they deserve it? Are you the moral arbiter of who and who should and shouldn't be shoved into a locker? This makes you a bully. You don't have a right to judge me. You can judge people, but not to the point where you decide that you were going to be, you know, John fucking Halo and shove them into a locker. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Wait, I just have to... Hold on. It looks kind of like the, the blood... Uh, I don't know. I don't understand this one. This is like the only only puzzle so far where I'm just like, huh? It's always the ones that have musical elements. So why we need Cifferoni to be here? Cifferoni would absolutely want to stuff people in lockers too. There's no doubt about it. Cifferoni is the worst with that kind of thing. Can you imagine if you went to school and your teacher stuffed you in a locker and started kicking it? Well, walk and talk and robot. Maybe I just need to gun it. Oh. Um, um hello, please, please. Okay, I see. What happened to the Zetai Ryoki girl? Alright, I was defending you before, but if you start throwing up like these these weed words and the Naruto gang signs, I might have to get on Misa Koko's side. Literally nobody fucking cares about Ohio. It's not even a good state. Cool nose is anime shit. I believe it. LeBron grew up there? So, okay, does LeBron growing up in Ohio make Ohio worthwhile, Giselle? Is that what you're trying to tell me? No? Okay. I mean, I live in fucking Texas, so... It's not exactly like I come from a place of, of grandeur and prestige, right? 
fucking Dallas. <laughs> Probably contributed to his drive in sports to one day not be in Ohio. Hey, maybe. Let's go to literature class. Let's read some books. Texas? Yeah. Ohio? More like Ohio. Gozaimasu. Am I right, fellas? What the fuck? Hold on. Okay, wait. It's like those fish. Have you ever seen the cute little kissing fish that love each other so much that they start... They're called kissing garamis. And it's actually not kissing. It's not because they love each other. That's actually how they display aggression. Do you think there are people like that who will try to kiss you as a display of aggression? Yeah, you talking some shit, bro? Come here, motherfucker. Let's see, let's see how, how hot you are when you're getting kissed on the lips, bitch. The Italians? Is that why? Wait. Is that why whenever I reach up to Max, he goes, Tolo, ma. It's like a... What the fuck? Does he hate me? Shit. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. Somebody scribbled all over this whiteboard. Student delinquency slip. Student name Raul Rossell. Reason for delinquency. Unexcused absences. Have not been able to make contact with student. He got kidnapped. He's establishing dominance as an Italian. Yes. So if an Italian goes to Lomeo, mwah, that's like a... Those are fighting words, is what you're telling me. People have been freaking out since Raul went missing. Chrissy has been in the media room printing all these posters. It's so sad. Do you think she could have done something? No way, she is so depressed. Maybe he ran away to get away from her. Haha. -ha. So much gossiping. A kid goes missing and they are joking about it. So cruel. Is there anything else before we try to figure this out? Italian version of calling someone buddy? Dude, now I... Dude, I thought... Man. I hope people joke about it if I go missing. Cool 109 love, are you one of those people who sits there and thinks about how people would react if you were to get, like, a terminal illness or something? You strike me as that kind of person. Oh, I need the transparent sheet. I guess that makes sense. I only have the face piece. So... JFC said that? Who are you talking to? Wait, oh, my bad. I meant JFC. Sorry, did I get him mixed with Cool 109? My mistake. I'm trying to fucking play this. Alright, so there's a knife going through a heart, a bird in a cage, and a rose. Hold on. It, there's no way it's like a... I'm trying to see... If maybe this makes it go in a sequence, and you just have to... I'm pretty sure I don't have what I need for this, and there's other places to explore. JFC's basically... I'm sorry, sometimes I get fucking flim-flammed. Ugh. I think nothing will happen, it doesn't really matter, so why not joke about it? JFC... Why you gotta bring the vibes down, bro? Why you gotta b drop the bummer bomb? We're, we're like a chill, positive environment. You're saying the sad shit. You're gonna make me Sococo cry if you keep it up. Please insert disk to save file. Well, there's sure a lot of shit. Poster, transparency printers are now available for use. You can print out transparencies used for overhead projectors. It's designated computers for printing when you have a file in. a document, I can pick it up here. Okay. A diary page. I can't stop thinking about the letter I got before Raul went missing. I tried to tell my parents about it, but the note is gone. I couldn't find it. They don't believe me. I'm too scared to go to anyone else. I need to do what I can to find it. Stack of missing posters. Missing Raul. Can I take them? No. Vibe Assassin? Yeah, dude. We're all about the good vibes here, man. 
You don't want to be the one who makes me Sokoko cry. Okay, it's sort of floppy disk if you try. Is this the same one or the message on the screen says, printer is ready, please insert disk with data. Okay, so we need to find the disk, do the printer, put it in the fucking, okay. So the disk is what we need first. Because then we put it in there, it prints out the transparent sheet, or no. It prints out the paper, we put the paper in the transparent printer, it makes a transparent sheet, and then we put it on the overhead projector, and then it'll show us... something. Can I eject this? I'm not sure if the disc is in here. I think there's another room that I haven't explored. Keep the positive vibes going so we don't get a bummer bomb. Twitch needs to make a bummer bomb feature where if people are being depressing, it's like bummer bomb and, and something happens. I don't know what happens, but it needs to be a way to give the streamer more money. So, think in the, the framework of those limitations. Hype train? Yeah, it's literally. Oh, it's the opposite of a hype train. like to submit a bummer bomb for the chat member Misa Coco. Okay. What's the bummer bomb, Dan? Let's go to the biology lab. Fuck this. Oh. What the hell's going on with this? There's like a little gnome child in the cage. That's not very cool. Pick up the inhaler. Okay, I hope something good is in here. Uh oh. That was fucked up. That must hurt, right? You didn't even tell him, like, hey, get ready. Oh. Small dissected bird, the organs look pristine. A biology book. For our next project, lovebirds are known for choosing one mate for life. It will break. If we break their heart, will they be able to move on? So we do we have to break its heart? It doesn't seem to give me a prompt for anything like that. The cage was damaged in the fall. There's something wrapped around the mannequin's wrist. I can bend the bars with the right tool to grab it. I do. I have something that can bend bars. Only thing that would kind of make sense is the pliers, but there's no way, right? Nope, that works. Strong-ass pliers, Jesus Christ. You take the TV cables. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, this seems like a good spot for me to piss and get a Diet Coke. I'll be right back. Whatever you do, do not drop bummer bombs on me, Sokoko, okay? Please.
look the doogies out. All right, hopefully you all survived without me. You know, I'm sure it was rough. Oh, wait, was I playing this shit with a controller? I don't even remember how I was playing this game, dude. Okay, I think I, I was using mouse and keyboard. School announcement, all students must return home if you're not involved in an after-school activity. For your safety, please follow these rules. Do not talk to strangers, walk together in groups. If a stranger approaches you, just say no. Okay. So now... Do I continue this way to see what other items I can get, or do I go back with the cables? I am small child next door- uh oh, no you're not. I don't appreciate you go outside to pee and shake- No, so I- I didn't pee outside because it's muddy and I don't want my feet to get muddy and I don't want to put my flip-flops on, so I actually did not pee outside this time. Haven't for a few days, actually. Oh, come on, dude, I'm in the fucking lockers, asshole. Suck my dick. Alright. I'm just barely skating by. I do not have enough inhalers. Candy? I mean, dude, I could go for some blue gummy sharks right now. Or the, the little gummy frogs. Holy shit. Absolutely incredible. Gummy worms? What is this? You picked up the V. Okay, so it's a good thing we didn't go back because we probably would have had to come right the fuck back here. Without rule, I feel so broken. Why am I still on the play? I only auditioned because I wanted him to notice me, and now he's gone. There's no point in doing the show anymore. I'm telling Mr. Crane today that I quit. Get gummy tummy. Oh, I know. I know. And in, in, uh, I think it was like 2020, early 2020, shit was going rough, so I ordered like a 10-pound bag of blue gummy sharks. Ate them all in about a week. And I think it took about just as long for me to have my next bowel movement. Uh-oh. The door is locked. Oh. That doesn't seem great. Maybe it's just a friend. You pick up the strange key. Strange shaped key. Okay. Oh. Holy fuck. Hey guys. Are you friendly? They're my homies. Woman mods? You no. The the women mods are not that cool, I'm sorry. Misa, don't sad crying rat me. You don't you don't even have feelings. You're just trying to manipulate me into feeling bad. Wow, what? You're talking about shoving innocent little baby boys into lockers. And now I'm supposed to be like, oh yeah, Misa, she's loving and caring. She's she's for the people. What? Doesn't make any motherfucking sense. Who do you think I am? Do you think I was born today? That question marks from Farm Pig? That's okay. Because you start with Cool 109 Love, and before you know it, Misa Coco is going to be talking about putting Farm Pig in the locker. I know how her type works. It never ends. Character assassination? That requires no, Misa does have character. Her character is just evil. You can't put farm pig in a locker. It's born at night. I wasn't born last night. Misa Coco's lawful evil. I wouldn't? I don't know, Misa. That sounds like something 
A locker pusher would save me. I really hope I don't have to go back and forth through these these halls too often. So I'm gonna get fucked over and over and over. I'm pretty sure the TV was in the music class. Yes. Okay. So we have our cables. This might be able to help me with the piano. I'm like a, I'm like a fucking, um, only 90s kids will remember composite cables. I would like this post if you were a 90s kid. <laughs> What's going on, Heated Milkling? How are you, dude? Doing well? Hell yeah. Okay. I think I remember that. It's like, or was it? Okay, I guess I'm stupid. Hold on, let me look at it again. Oh, okay. Wait, did it change? It did. No, I'm, I think I must have missed the first one. So, oh, I, I got it, I think. What a tune. Sorry, I'm a goldfish. Please be patient. That's not it, is it? No, it would be like that. I'm getting confused because that one key next to it has blood on it. It really looks like there's nothing on it, too in the video. A diary page, I tried telling Mr. Crane that I quit, but he wouldn't accept it. He said I couldn't quit the show and that it was my time to shine. Sounded just like a letter I got. I have a feeling he knows all. Okay, so the kidnapper is the teacher. I do recall a note that said that he always wanted to have like lessons with her after class or something to that effect, which was kind of weird. Seems like Mr. Crane's not exactly, uh nice guy. Really is like classic. Oh, not yeah. Told him in Austin. Let's get Whataburger. That's three hours away, brother, but I hope you enjoy Whataburger. Maybe if we go to San Antonio and get Alamo Cafe. Want to give me some Dark Souls lessons after class? Nope. I don't even know how to play that game. So now I need to remember... What can I use this key on? This is like the only thing I have right now as far as leads go. I feel like I must have seen something that I could use it on, but I don't really remember. Class of 09 is like the average high school experience, you think so? I wouldn't know because I was a homeschooled idiot. Yeah, I, I was born there. We went back for old time's sake in July. It was nice. I wish I lived there instead of Dallas, to tell you the truth. Uh-oh. To be clear, I have nothing against you. I'm just enjoying dogpiling. Have a nice... Well, everybody likes Misa Coco. It's just jokes. Misa Coco is actually a, what we like to call a filter. Where... Like, me and, and some other people are cool with Misa, and we'll make jokes. And then, if someone's actually mean to Misa, though, that's that's a fucking party foul. That's no way at all. Fang would never survive this high school? You're probably right. Hmm. Please be nice. Wait, I missed this? Holy shit. Okay. I, I think I have two inhalers now. I'm gaming. There's literally no way this can go to itself. I think I've, I've practically beat the game at this point. Can you... Oh. I'm gonna ask something insane. I need 
need your help with it though. Never mind. I've decided not to say something insane. I'm not brave enough. So I oh 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 that's right. This this is it for sure. I knew there was something in this room. Come on. What? I'm not on. It, it's okay. Thought I was gonna have to turn it all the way around like an Allen wrench. I, it turns out I only had to turn it up. Misa made my left foot fall asleep. That's good though, dude. I love it when my feet fall asleep. Or my leg. Too old and faded to read. Me too, bro. <laughs> Me too, dude. God, this this daisy dot 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 emote is gonna make me jump. Make a manifesto, like a ten page long manifesto about how people dot dot dotting me cause me to jump. Okay. I think we're we're finally going to get past this part. I have the disc. It's all coming together. Oh, hello! He looks like the chicken man, doesn't he? The, um, the SCP that's like a chicken man thing that lays eggs. Some of you must know what I'm talking about. Right? Yeah, thank you, computerless citizen. The what? The chicken man. Uh, thank you, Psycho, for the 46-month resub. I appreciate it. Hold on. I gotta show you a picture. I gotta show you a picture. You, you, dude, you guys are gonna... Make me fucking cry by dot dot dotting me. Chicken man SCP. I gotta fucking find it. Okay. Come on, it looks like the chicken man, right? A little bit. Look at his little tail. Look at the little baby. He looks like a like the larval version of the chicken man. <laughs> Come on. Making a man chicken. God, I wish I was a fucking man chicken, dude. That that dude's delicious. Would you eat the man chicken? Look at his little dumper like the grimace asking if he like his McNuggies. Yeah. I remember that. That was the original Grimace shake. Not this crude... Uh-oh. Uh do we gotta have a dumpy, though? Why do you have to sexualize everything, Papa Dap? Would it even be cannibalism? Who cares? Cannibalism's cool. Are you telling me you wouldn't eat, like, a Tolomeo stick? Good barbecue sauce? No? No? People these days. Is it consensual? I feel like there would be no greater honor than dying and being consumed. Like your body feeds the people who are still alive. You don't want to waste food. Wait, what would be a Tolomeo steak? Is Tolo gave it? No. So much gross shit, there's no way that tastes good. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't recall it being in here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that was so close. Probably eat a Tolomeo steak if you ask me to in your will. What if someone chokes in your steak and dies? Dude, who the fuck chokes on steak? Is it amateur hour in this bitch? How the hell would that even happen? That that would have to mean they made they cooked me well done, which would be that would be sacrosanct. You can't do something like that. No ketchup? Some people swallow only. God, yeah, I've seen videos of people who like yeah. That sounded wrong. I haven't I'm not talking about that kind of video. I'm talking about food. 
It's the wrong item. I need a floppy. Okay, first one. Profession. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean, like, videos. They okay, I. All right. Someone made a video of one of those popular stream ladies. I, I think it was either Amaranth or Alinity, and she was, like, eating noodles. And she would just not chew at all. She just swallowed, like, the entire fucking bowl of noodles. It was... I don't understand how you could do something like that. She's a... Uh-oh. You don't chew noodles? Oh, I've been doing it. Me and, like, everybody else have been doing it wrong, I guess. Shit. Well, it's kind of like literally, right? Everyone uses liter literally everyone uses literally wrong. So that becomes the new right. It just means figurative. This doesn't seem like there's going to be places. It's gotta be, that's true. Does it pause when I'm trying to... It sure fucking doesn't. Okay. So I'm just supposed to do like this entire thing with this asshole in the room. That's... Oh, oh. Okay. Well... Come on, Ezekiel. A little beat in the spider game. No. Is it so fucking awesome? No, it, it does look really good. Oh, okay. That's, I'm out of fucking games again. I guess it is. Wait. What? How the fuck did you get over here? You were just over there. doors dude okay finally we're here we got the projector sheet so what's it gonna be Love blooms in bright light my cage hides in deep dark curtain rises at dusk betrayal came before the show start. Okay, so this is telling me what we do with the box. So love love blooms in bright light. I'm guessing this is love. Because that one actually might be correct already. Let me see. So this, oh, my cage hides in the deep dark. See, the one thing... Betrayal came before the show start. Okay. That's the part I don't get. So, hold on. Curtains rise at dusk. So... The 
the betrayal part was just a non sequitur, I guess. A diary page opening night will be my chance to find out if Mr. Crane is hiding something. While he is busy, I'll take his bag and see if I can find anything. Well, no, it actually wasn't a non sequitur. I, I realize what it means now. It meant one step before dusk. I was just confused if that counted as dusk or not. That It wasn't a non sequitur. Just stupid. I hope I'm wrong about everything. So now we have the entire mask, but I, I'm actually not sure what we're supposed to do with that, so... I have a complaint. You won't buy food for your children, you won't educate them. Look, they've been jumping on the bed all day, and you do nothing to stop them. I didn't want those stupid bitches. Not my problem. They need to figure it out. Hey, lady. I guess you probably are the, uh, what I need to, to give the face pieces to, huh? You sound just like my dad. Maybe they shouldn't have been born? Wow, dude. Can't believe what you say about our beautiful children. Like, if the, if the beautiful children are in reference to the dogs, they're great. If we're talking about little, little, like, rat people jumping on the bed, hell no. They should be, Roth is right, they should be glad they have beds. Uh-oh. This doesn't seem like a great place to go. <laughs> jumping on the bed one. Dude, I, that dinosaur book about the dinosaurs jumping on the bed with the googly eyes, it was cash. I don't know if anyone remembers that. This hole was made for you. I don't think this was my high school. Oh, no. Okay, so I have one inhaler and I'm dying. Expensive looking home stereo. Did someone live here? Yeah, probably Mr. Crane. Ah, uh, an intricate set of pipes that route water. There is a missing pipe that needs to... Okay, so we need to find a pipe. It's not even a nice bed. Photo album is completely empty. More of those envelopes I've been seeing around. Stack of blank paper. Paper. The premium texture has a soft grain. Some diagrams for a stage play. There's an ornate chandelier hanging over the stage and positions for all the actors. Old disposable camera with no pictures remaining. Shriveled roses. They were probably really pretty once. Zone 3 is just static. Zone 4, it's a video feed of the girls' locker room. Zone 2, video feed of the theater entrance. Zone 1, it's a video feed of a dressing room. Okay. Utility tunnels map with notes written all over it. Usual hangout spot. Enters at 8 a.m. Uses bathroom and electives hallway. This this isn't seeming great. Major bummer bomb. This kind of reminds me of Pen Pal a little bit. I don't think I have the keys for the prison cell. Holy shit. All right, so there's a prison cell down here. What is this? Goody? A sewer tunnel. It's collapsed, totally blocked. It looks like the bars were sawed off at some point. Can I take the bar and use it as a weapon? Hit someone over the head with it? Uh-oh. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing left to find here, and then we'll go. There's a hole in the wall here. Looks like someone dug it out from this side. I can crawl through it. Burn letter in rose, my star, tonight is our night. All the pain will have been worth it. So what happened to the gal? Doesn't seem like anything good. Is the school having a dungeon been explained? Yeah, they were talking about renovating the tunnels, but I don't think they've said expressly what the tunnels were for. I think they believe them to be maintenance tunnels. Small promise necklace. A diary, I did it, I went through Mr. Crane's bag. There's a small key and some photos, all of me. I feel sick. One of the photos was taken from where the mirror is in the, this room. I know there's an opening behind it. The show is about to start, but I need to find out what's behind there. I hope I can find Raul. Okay, so we got the key and there's the mirror in here. I, I suppose we can move it. It doesn't seem to be letting me interact with the mirror specifically. 
Imagine having to see pictures of yourself. Disgusting. Well, dresses and costumes are beautiful, but covered in dust. Okay. So we should probably make sure I've gotten everything in here. Pile of photos are all the same person. Middle school math teacher got a paid vacation for looking up girls' skirts. Came through the mirror. Is that? I guess that's probably right, huh? But there's another one. Okay, yeah, that's true. I guess that makes sense. Just the wrong mirror. It's pretty bad. High school sounds like a disaster nightmare. Maybe, maybe I should be glad that I didn't go. Okay, so let's go into the cell. I imagine we're gonna find Raul in here. I don't know where the fuck else he would be. A small cot, it's old and dirty, and it has a smell I can't quite figure out. Oh, okay, there's more over here. What the fuck? A barrel filled with trash and ashes. Looks like someone was burning whatever was inside. And there's that... The second half of the promised necklace. So I guess that's Raul's corpse. Surely I can interact with that somehow. I gotta be able to get something, right? But it doesn't seem like it'll... Hold on. I bet I can get the pipe. Yeah, for the fucking thing. Duh. Now I have to do the pipe puzzle. Alright, well now we have some chill music to listen to while we do this pipe shit, right? It's not all bad. Oh, okay, okay. So it's zone two that's on fire, right? Yes, so I have to route the water to zone two. Indicator shows the water flow for zone two. Is it? Zone 2 is off. Pump is dead. So now I just have to fish it with this. Until I get it to zone 2. I don't know fucking anything about pipes. So this is probably just gonna be me diddling with these for a while. If I have to interact with any of this. Can you turn yourself up? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm here. I'm queer. I'm ready to play some video games. Hold on. Okay. So then it would have to go here. That goes to zone three. Oh, oh, hold on. Alright, that's really it? Oh, okay, that's way easier than I thought it was gonna be. For some reason, I had this idea that the pipe being to the side just meant that it was off, not the direction it was actually going. Okay, so let's turn this off so it won't be drowning out my voice. Although I think it's way more pleasant. Hello, Mike. Hello, Zero TB. So now I, I guess we can go to the theater room. I feel like this is we might be getting close to the end. Hello, Charlie nine 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 three. Shackleford. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all having a good weekend. I hope you're having a great Saturday night. Getting some Pizza Hut or, or marijuana. Those are basically the only two things you can get to have a good Saturday night these days in this economy. So hope you have one of them. Well, this is odd. This isn't exactly what I was expecting. There's electrified water. Probably shouldn't step in that. Black tar heroin right now. Want some? Yes. 
heading our new star, Amy Tanaka. Wait a fuck. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Got black bag Cheetos I'm about to dig into. Anyone on crack in here? God, I wish. I want to do crack one of these days. I think it would be fun. And then that it would finally mean that that Viper song doesn't apply to me anymore. I wouldn't be a y'all coward anymore. You know how much that would mean to me? A note between students. I'm so glad Amy replaced Chrissy for the show. Chrissy didn't understand Crane's vision. She was too obsessed with her dead boyfriend. Yeah, what a loser. At least they are together now. Glad that chandelier crushed her. She deserved it. That can't be real. Uh-oh. Can you imagine so Like, I'm glad that chandelier crushed Tolomeo to death. Fuck, dude. That'd be so sad. Viper's approval is the bedrock of the hierarchy of needs. Oh, absolutely. I don't like marijuana that much either, cool. There's two of us. <laughs> Nothing cool about not smoking crack is to make a habit of it and get some reputable crack. And if I hated someone, I wouldn't go gossiping and that I was glad they were dead. <gasps> There's our friend. Amy? I can't believe I actually found you. I have. Oh, hold I'm on. There's an important you. question, but I gotta hold wait on, until just this a little is longer. Over. I have a question. My cousin says that girls like to blow on things, so my question is, what do girls blow on? Crack pipes. Bubbles and balloons are also good answers. No, Misa. I think I would rather die than have Misa call me Mimi i I'm gonna be completely honest. I think that would just be completely terrible. I don't want- I really don't want anyone calling me Mimi G. There's some kind of metaphor happening right now. Call him baby? Yeah, baby's fine. Do you think that back in the day people felt the same about baby as they do with daddy now? Like at first it was probably really weird when people were calling their their wives and husbands baby. They probably got made fun of a lot, and now it's normal. So if you think about it, like 2015, everyone, like, it's going to be normal. Be like, hello there, daddy. Like, ev literally everyone's going to do it. People for real say pookie. Okay, okay, but like, we can all agree that schnookums is, is the best, right? Like, schnookums is based. Are you Schnookums pill? Oh fuck. Damn it. I've made a critical mistake, my friends. I'm on fire. Ow? Imagine if, like, inhalers were, were health potions in real life. That was fucking too close for comfort. I like that getting hit by the spotlight hurts your lungs. Hubby makes me cringe on the instant. Oh, never go to a Misa Coco stream, man. I kind of agree with you, but it's fine. Sorry? No, you have nothing to apologize for. Wifey is worse than hubby? 
Okay, what about, like, waifu? Would it be weird for a guy to call his actual life his waifu? I feel like it would be... It would be kind of strange, right? Oh, come on, you asshole. Otterbug is my waifu. Unless they're Japanese, uh, I'm... I'd like to play Japanese video games, so I'm basically Japanese. Like when my fanboy girlfriend calls me Big Chunkus? Amy. Hell yeah. Husband's too formal? I think that's a you thing, personally. Don't worry. I'll I think you, you might be there. the only person in the world who feels like husband is too formal. I feel like that's your... Never mind. Never mind. I'm not gonna say anything. Be a good boy. Is a white male to Romeo is allowed to appropriate any other culture? That's true. Your homie. Goes up to her husband's like, hey gamer, how are you? She has trouble being serious. Holy fuck, she's dead. It's just a fucked Amy, up little mannequin, right? Are you okay? Maybe not. My head. I could never with Where the gamer tag. Where's the library? You don't remember what happened? Kinda. We were playing with the spirit board, but then. Okay, so this one's actually her. Things got blurry, and I started. Dreaming about a monster that locked me up in this cage. Torpal. This is all real? I'll catch you up later. First, we have to get you out of here. Uh oh. Misa, call him your senpai Oni Chan. Being locked in a cage reminds You're me not of my dad. Taking her away from me. Skibbity bop bop bop. Loser again. The fuck, Super Saiyan Goku? What? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. It's that thing, the one that put me in here. Crap! What are we gonna do? I have to end this for good. It's the only way we can get this thing to stop. Be careful, Viv. Mess him up. Now, how am I going to do this? <laughs> Hit the floss. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God. Okay, okay. Get the fuck away from me. Okay, uh oh. I mean, turning the generator back on might work, right? But I don't know if. Like he jumps four times consistently, but he leaves the fire bell. So the generators are on. Now what do I do? Do I go and fucking need to grip the barbed wire with the right tool? I'm gonna have to unscrew him next. I saw the screws. Okay. It's kind of creative. Now, can I get? Oh, what? What the fuck? Come on, Charles. What? Okay. You watch him flatten you like a pancake once? No. Drop on me. Oh yeah, big boy. Jenna wants to see you fail so bad. I know, dude. Jenna's my number one detractor. 
So what are we gonna do next? Force him to take the fucking inhaler? Something hard to break this glass. I can stab the glass with this. Yeah! 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 Toilets win? What if this was all, like, revealed at the end to be the latest episode of Skibbity Toilet? That'd be pretty Daddy. awesome, right? <laughs> Don't look so animated, Holy lady. Crap. You did it! You killed that thing. Did I really beat him? Is he gone? Let's not stay on the plane out. We gotta get out of here. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap, Lois. Huh. Tower escape. Do you have any idea where we're going? Nope. Anywhere but here. Yeah, I like that answer. Did you see that adept dodge I just did? Holy shit. Brilliant. Over here! Life is Strange ass dialogue? I don't know, dude. I've heard some bad things about Life is Strange. Maybe that's what I could do for October. The the scariest game series, the entirety of the Life is Strange series. Fuck Five Nights at Freddy's, Resident Evil, Silent Hill. Alien Isolation, whatever the fuck else. Nun Massacre. Life is strange. That's what the people demand. Please, anything but not that. And Yeek. Where are oh we? Oh my god. We're back. We made That's it. a Final Fantasy one, I right? I can't believe it. We're really back in the library. Amy, are you okay? Do you remember anything that happened? I don't remember much. There was that lightning crash, and it, it, it all becomes hazy after that. I don't know what that thing wanted, but... I was so scared. Thank you for coming after me. I don't think I would have made it out without you. Amy, I was so scared too. Scared I'd never see you again. Scared I wouldn't be able to tell you. All night? I've been wanting to share something with you. I even wrote it all down because I was afraid to She's say it, She's gonna get rejected and it's gonna be so funny. I'm done being afraid. <sighs> Amy? I like you. 
you know, in that way. <laughs> the fucking low poly hands, oh my god. <laughs> Tonight, I was just trying hard to impress you. I wanted you to like me so bad. I mean, this is sweet, but I still think it would be really funny if she's like, oh, hell nah, bitch. <laughs> it just left. But you're the one who's impressive. <laughs> Even more than I already knew. It's forbidden love? Now let's get the hell out of here. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> no. I mean, yeah, let's go. But no, don't say it like that. To <laughs> make it better or worse, if it was suddenly, it would be awesome. Can we avoid anything spooky from now on? <laughs> I mean, definitely no more spirit boards. But here's a scary movie, okay? Wait. That uh, depends. Wait. Did it ever explain where the fourth candle went? Did I miss that? You took it? Okay. You picked it up? All right, all right. Just zoning out. It would have been funny if, like, a little gnome had the candle. Cozy Game Pals. But that was... I liked that game, but is that a cozy game? Cozy and gay? Skibbied my toilet? Man, d germs? This guy's name is Germs. There's no fucking way. Holy shit, what? That's There's no way someone's named Germs. Dear player, we want to share our deepest gratitude to you for playing. Fear the spotlight to always poured our hearts into creating this game, and even though it's not perfect, we could be proud of what we achieved. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate that you trust us with your time to play our game. We sincerely hope you experience even a little bit of the joy we had while making it. With deep appreciation, Brian and Krista Cozy Game Pals. No, I hated it. Fuck you, Brian. Fuck you, Chris. No, I'm just kidding. That game was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't really have any major complaints about these. It's a cool game. They put. It's pretty clear they put a lot of love and effort into it. I like how. Uh, for lack of a better word, tactile, the puzzles felt where you had to like grab everything and like, it, yeah, it was a good game. I liked it. Story about the students didn't really matter in the end. It was a nice game. Diegetic, yeah, I don't know words. It just, the, the feedback of moving them and like uh, putting things in the right place just felt very good. I guess it just had good feedback, good sound design. Uh, game is really, really good. Liked it a lot. Interaction system is really cool. Game is crazy good. Yeah. Hopefully they make more games. Actually, Amy, uh oh, this is just I like Marvel. You want to do before we go? <laughs> okay. Don't I'm soying. I'm soying. I'm soying so fucking hard right now. This is just like when the She-Hulk twerked. Records for overdue books and fines, juicy gossip, but I don't have the time right now. Oh, I thought she was going to fine her for, like, overdue books or something. This is, like, the first... Wait. Okay, so what am I... Oh, okay. I'm stupid. We need to find the right one. Faculty records for past librarians... Order forms and receipts for new textbooks. Jammed. I think I could pry it open with the right tool. Wait, so I... S oh. Why do I still have the screwdriver? I guess that wasn't imaginary after all. The fol folder is labeled 1991. It's a newspaper interview with a student on opening night. It's towards the back of the theater when the fire happened. Everyone saw Chrissy running on stage. We thought... It was the show starting, but she wasn't even in costume. She started yelling for help, and just then the chandelier above her crashed down and burst into flames. It was awful. 
It's a newspaper article about the fire. Tragedy is sunny side. It is still a mystery. Who untied the ropes that held up the chandelier? Unfortunately, many witnesses backstage did not survive the fire. 1995. Note from Superintendent Moore. Staff administration, as you know, Sunnyside High is still struggling with admission rates after the fire. Unfortunately, we do not have enough funds to keep everyone on staff for next year. The note goes on to list several teachers who were fired from their jobs. Folder label 2007. Report from the construction company. Upon demolishing the arts hallway, our workers found some videotapes hidden under the drama classroom floorboards. There was also strange furniture in the underground sewers. Please see the provided photos and let us know how to proceed. Printed email between the principal and the superintendent. Principal Lee, I just looked over the report from the construction company. If this gets out, parents will withdraw their students, leading to a loss of funding. The tragedy has done enough damage to our reputation. Tell the workers to destroy everything and get rid of these photos. Oh. It's a newspaper that reads, More than a decade after the tragic fire, Sunnyside construction on the damage area... Construction on the damage areas of the school begins. Last folder is labeled 2012. Newspaper clipping reads, Sunnyside High celebrates the completion of new facilities and welcomes its largest class of students since 1990. Oh. Okay. You shouldn't be in here, Vivian. Wait. Okay. It is like Marvel. She's dead now. What's going on, Sturdy? We just beat the game. She knows. Was Vivian grungled or what? No, that didn't seem like a great ending. She's gay for the teacher in the sequel. Barrier gaze. Yeah. Once again... The, the beautiful blossoms of gay romance crushed by weird middle-aged white women. Many such cases. Don't worry, the gays will overcome all conflict. Alrighty. Well, that's the video game, everybody. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the stream. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go play Monster Hunter, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kill the monsters. I'm gonna go hunting. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Take it easy.